Ah. Ah. Test. Test, test. One, two, one, two. Test, test. Pyra, thank you so much for gifting three months to Eddie. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. Test, 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 test. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, 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 ah. ah. I am terrified. I. I'm so scared, gamers. Hi, guys. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. It's been a month. It's been two weeks. It has not been a month. We missed one Saturday. One specific, one Saturday. <laughs> but it's fine. We're back. It's chapter five. It's been literally an eternity. I, I, can't, I can't stand you guys. <laughs> A week for me. It's been two weeks. It's been two weeks. We we skipped one week, so it's been two weeks. Um, hello gamers. Hello, hello, hello. I'm so scared. I've heard so many things about chapter five, but I know nothing about chapter five at the same time. It's like I keep hearing like little inklings, like, oh, it's crazy. Oh, this is like this is when it gets good. Or oh, this is when the game gets polarizing. So I have no idea what's about to happen. I have no idea what's about to go down. Honestly, I don't even remember what happened in the last chapter. That's actually a complete lie. So here's what you missed on. Danganronpa. Me, you died. Can we get some Fs in chat for our fallen soldier? Can we, can we, can we get some Fs in chat for our fallen soldier, Miu? Our comic relief. The one who would constantly make me pause. I think she single-handedly added 30 minutes to every single Danganronpa run. Simply because her one-liners were so intense, I needed a moment to, like, recover. But, yeah. Adachira, thank you so much for the tier one for three months, gamer. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then, and then, the one who done did it was none other than our sweet baby boy, Gonta. Which was arguably one of the most tragic moments in a trial. Going to realizing that he was in fact the killer that he wasn't even aware of. So sad. Also, F's in chat for Gonta. He didn't deserve that, the baby boy. But nonetheless, we are here on chapter five. Unfortunately, Kokichi is still alive. I'm a little annoyed about that. But, but, I have some theories. I have a game theory. Dragon Bean, thank you so much for the tier one. Thank you. So I after after the last after the last time we played uh, Danganronpa, I had a few theories that I was telling Eddie, um, like I was, trying, I was just like throwing the matter, and I'm like, listen, Kaito and Kokichi, there's no way both of them are making it to the end. One of them has to die, and this is the last death, or like this is gonna be the last trial of the game because usually chapter six is I'm escaping, so chapter five is gonna be the last like murder and trial if we're going by previous games, and so. I think either Kokichi or Kaito are going to die. They, they, one of them has to die. I am praying to the Lord it is Kokichi. I want Kokichi to die. Either, either, best case scenario, Kokichi gets murdered so I don't have to deal with him during the trial and it's Kaito who did it, or Kaito dies and we have to deal with Kokichi throughout the entire trial. I am hoping, I am hoping Kokichi dies. I want him to die. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of him. I'm sick of him. I've been wanting him to die since day one, and he is still alive, and it pisses me off. But also, if we're going by Danganronpa 2 logic, Nagito died in Chapter 5, which makes me believe, because Kokichi is essentially, like, a worse version of Nagito, he might die this chapter. But I know Kaito's not making it to the end just because he's terminally ill, and I just can't see him surviving till the end. Like, he's either going to die of natural causes, or he's going to get killed. It's one or the other. God, Yato, thank you so much for the Prime sub gamer. You only get one of those a month, and I thank you so much for using it on me. I miss Kaede every single day. She was my favorite character. Um, I was actually talking to someone recently. We're talking about the guy who was um obsessed with Sayaka, who had like the militia of Sayakas. And um I was like, lol, why like why is your favorite character someone who died in chapter one? And then I remembered my favorite character is Kaede. And, and and I was I was like oh <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I was like wait a second <laughs> hold on pot meat kettle <laughs> like <laughs> 
Thank you so much, Blade Fox, for the resub. Thank you. Thank you for the prime. Thank you so much for using me the last two months. But listen, I think... I think Kaide is a different case than Sayaka because we got her perspective. We got to listen to her brain. We we got moments with her that I think Sayaka never got. And thus, Kaide is supreme. Kaide is my supreme leader. I don't care if Kokichi is the ultimate supreme leader. That's Kaide in my heart. Kaide has more personality than Sayaka anyways. I agree with you, but we will not pit the women against each other. We will simply pit them all against Kokichi because that little shit doesn't deserve to, like, to live. I swear to God, if this turns into a freaking Kazu... Uh, not Kazuichi. A, a freaking... No, yeah. Kazuichi. A freaking soda situation where he makes it to the end. That was honestly the biggest L of Danganronpa 2. Like, you're telling me Heko had to die for Kazuichi to make it to the end? You're telling me Mikan had to die for Kazuichi to make it till the end? You're telling me Ibuki had to die before uh, for Kazuichi to make it till the end? Sayaka did try to kill someone, but instead died herself. Yeah, at least Kaide got to kill someone. Our queen. Sorry, I'm just, I'm a sim for Kaide. She did nothing wrong. Yasahiro? Wait, who's that? Bro, I don't remember who that is. Is he from number one? I don't know the one names. I only know Kitty Giddy. Like the name, like I can like name off the top of my head from number one. Ah, fortune teller. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Listen, I forgot about the names of, um, is this the rumored 10 hour stream to compensate last week? No. Um, but yeah, when it comes to Dragon Ball one, I only remember a few of the names, but I know like number two, like the back of my heart. Like, okay, for number one, obviously, um, Makoto, Sayaka, Kirigiri, Byakuya, Toko, Asahina, Sakura, Gambling Girl. I think her name was Celestia. And then there was like, oh yeah, Junko. And like, the men. And, and, then, and then I, I know that there was more men. I just cannot remember. I, I see their faces. I cannot tell you what their names are. But, but I feel like I should stop stalling. I heard that the chapter five's beginning is crazy specifically. Like the first like 10 minutes are, are going to go insane. And I'm really scared. I'm genuinely terrified to click the start button. Like, like you guys, I am, I'm scared. I'm, I'm, I'm so, I'm so scared to click like the start button. I, I just, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for it to go crazy. Oh my god, we just... Oh my god, did we start? Chat, are you guys ready? Why am I scared? I'm scared. You guys, I was like... Okay, I was doing my calendar for the month. Wait, first of all, sorry. I have so much to talk to you guys about. I missed you. Um, I went to a fair today, gamers. Like, you know, like a county fair. I felt very American. Um, on the way, when we were leaving, um, the car in front of us had a hot dog on their bumper like a legitimate hot dog like an edible hot dog i think they forgot it on their bumper and they were just driving with a hot dog on their bumper i took a picture i will not show you because it uh, i think it's doxing so i just can't show you but it didn't fall off but i was like this is america i felt like a true american i felt like a hell yeah brother situation where where it was just a hot dog on the bumper of a car but, but no, the really crazy thing. So you guys, I went with my niece and my nephew and they're like five. Like, damn right. Damn right. And they're like really young, they're like babies. And so like, we go into like this barn and it's like a bunch of like, uh, it's like, they're just like showing off stuff. I think from like the local schools or whatever. And on display in full glory, in full freaking glory, someone recreated Kaidahara Kazuwa's outfit and submitted it for a competition at this county carnival slash fair. And I was so confused. I genuinely, wait, let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. You guys, I was like, I had to, I took a moment. I like stopped when I saw it. Cause I was just like walking past, not really paying attention. Cause like, I didn't really care what was happening. I was just like, I wanted to get to like the rides and I wanted kettle corn. I was on a mission. Yeah, I tweeted it, but I'll still show you guys. Guys, go follow my Twitter. Um, and uh, just seeing it, I was so, I was so confused. Where is it? 
Like, hello? Someone literally recreate, and then there's a little, I, I couldn't show the picture. There's a little, like a literal Kazuha. Like they, they printed a picture of Kaidehara Kazuha. Were you the only one that was able to recognize the outfit design? Well, I knew it instantly. Dude, you think, you think I can't look at Kaidehara Kazuha's outfit and not recognize it on spot? Like literally I took, I stopped and I was like, dad, there's no way. There's no freaking way that they did this. But yeah, I, it was a Genshin jump scare, but it, but it, but it was there nonetheless. Do you think it fit the cardboard cutout? Uh, maybe, potentially, but how crazy is that? I was not expecting that. Like a county fair, like the most American thing on earth. They put, someone just made Genshin cosplay. Like what? Yeah, it was it was a pleasant surprise. I, I just wasn't expecting it. I feel like it's just Genshin trying to get me back into the game. Since, you know, Fontaine's coming out. All right. All right. I think it's time I stop stalling and we start playing. Do you guys agree with me? I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Chat, one in chat if you're ready. Two in chat if you're not ready like me. I'm not ready. I'm scared. Did I say four? Stalling? Well, <laughs> I mean, I am a staller, man. One, but not mentally. <sighs> I'm ready for an eight hour stream. We're not streaming for eight hours. All right. All right. All right. Oh, I'm so oh, Okay. Okay, I'm right. Oh. Oh yeah, they're all dead. I forgot about them. My adorable mono cubs. Little Monotaro. R.I.P. Mono Dam. Mono funny. Little Mono Dumb. And the rest. Oh, why did you have Wait, did he not say Mono Kid? Your lies were All I remember was Kaede's trial and your rage quit and that they killed off your favorite character. Bro, me too. <laughs> My grief is piling up like freshly fallen snow. I told them, make the most of your life because you only get one shot at it. And once it's I miss over, nothing can replace the old Monokuma it. voice though. This one's a little too high pitched for me. They, they have the spirit. It's just really high pitched. If only they cared about their lives, they would have worked harder to earn my love. It's all their fault. Bad stuff always happens to kids whose parents don't love them. That's true. But the more I think about it, <laughs> why did those kids even exist? Oh. What's an irreplaceable life? Way. Yeah, Monokuma, who did you bang to have children? Voyage without passion or purpose? What does this mean? What does this mean? The morning after, Gonta was declared the blackened. Oh yeah, I forgot to say what also happened last week. Listen, listen, listen. I liked Kaito up until chapter four. He was fine, a little headstrong, but he was the most annoying piece of shit to exist on chapter five or chapter four. Like, listen, I liked him. I like, Con I, I like Kaito. Like for the most part, I think he's fine. I was never more annoyed by him. Like him and Kokichi were like two devils on my shoulders, just equally pissing me off. Like one would stop talking and the other would start. And I got no break at all last trial from either of them. Like poor Gonta, he didn't discuss, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't deserve anything. But goddamn, I would have like listen before we even declared a killer, I would have just killed Kokichi on spot. You know, you know, second kills free, and then kill Kaito while you're at it, cause third kills also free. Like just go for it, bro. Like they're so annoying. We gathered in the dining hall as always. Oh my god, there's like no one here. Dude, there's like no one here. 
as always. No, how could that be? With everything that happened yesterday. Oh, Miu. Oh, Gota. Ugh. Well, wow, that's a lot that happened. Even in such a dark time, one of us was still bright, trying to cheer us all up. Jeez. Don't be stupid, guys. There's no way I die, you know. Momota, luminary of the star. Yeah, he's dying. <laughs> I'm sorry, he's dying. They gave him a full. Oh, they, they. I'm sorry. Like, listen. Who do I think making is making it till the end? All right, all right. I'll I'll give you my my kill predictions or my ending predictions. Okay. Shuichi. Maki. Um, Himiko. Sumugi. Kibo. I think those are the people making it till the end. Five people. I think I think every game ends with five. I think those are the five that are making it to the end. And then I think I'm I'm hoping Kaito and Kokichi somehow die this chapter. Preferably, I want Kokichi to die first. Hopefully Kokichi dies first. That's all I want. Hey. Are you really okay? I am kind of disappointed by Samugi's character though. I feel like she did nothing this entire game. I love her. We 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 got we maxed out her uh her thingy mabobs. But um but but I don't know. Like I feel like she did nothing. Like at least we get some depth in this chapter for her. But I feel like we didn't get any in depth of Sumugi or Kibo. I wasn't feeling great yesterday, but after a good night's sleep, I'm all better. Huh. I'm a hundred percent better now. But there's no way you'd get better so quickly after coughing up that much blood. Ah. I told you, didn't I? I just coughed too much and it cut my throat a little. That's all. Um. Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard or suffering from a chronic illness? Idiot. Don't be stupid. If I had a chronic illness, I wouldn't stand a chance in astronaut training. Seriously, you guys are worrying too much. Just because you all love me can't help yourself. <sighs> of course we'd be worried. My bad. But I'm serious. You don't need to worry about me anymore. I should have told you guys I wasn't feeling well. I made you worry for nothing. Come you don't trust on, him. Uh, okay, don't glare at me like that. <laughs> if I do start to feel bad again, I'll have you guys help me, okay? Now that that's out of the way, let's eat. Yeah, come on, guys. Let's all eat. Kaito spoke cheerily, then left to go get his meal. Wow, so many flashbacks. Is there really nothing wrong? With what I saw yesterday, how can I act like nothing's wrong? Hmm. Despite Kaito's remarks, he should probably receive medical attention just in case. I guess. Now we've got another reason why we need to get out of here. Okay. And on top of that, we need to do it fast. But... Escaping is all well and good, but what does the outside look like? We still don't know what the secret of the outside world is either. Um. Gonta wouldn't tell us what it was because it'd give us so much despair we'd want to die. What was that? I if that's true, then what could possibly be happening outside this academy? Kaito returned to the table, his hands full of food. I mean, we can't figure that out just thinking about it, so there's no point wasting your brain power. But. But we can't simply not think about... No. Sure, there's a chance the outside world is messed up because of Monokuma. But making us worry about it is what Monokuma wants. He's using it to put pressure on us. Kokichi and Gonta just snapped under the pressure. The outside world is probably fine. You. You're such an optometrist. Can you prescribe some rose-colored glasses for me too? That is an amazing joke. Wait. That is amazing. That is such a good joke. Wait, like, that is such a good line. Oh my god, Himiko. Uh, I think you mean optimist. But you know. Either way, that's something to think about once we get outside. So focus on that now. Shuichi. As a detective, what are your thoughts on this, Shuichi? Uh, 
Okay. I've considered a few theories, but I can't say for sure. You're right. Well, that's understandable. There's barely been any clues. Oh, God. Oh, no. They're having some tension. The bros are fighting again because Kaito's stubborn. The only reason we're alive, Kaito, right now is because we didn't listen to you. Sorry, I cannot stand headstrong men. I'm so... I just can't stand, it's like stand headstrong characters in general. Like, I, it, it annoys me so much. Megu, Magi, thank you so much for the Prime sub. I do appreciate that. You only get one of those a month. Thank you so much for using it on me. Like, Kaito, if we listened to you, we'd all be dead right now. So basically... Get your head out of your ass and thanks to Shuichi for not being swayed by blind tr like trust and getting to the like the end or like the the bottom of the mystery. Since the incident yesterday, Kaito won't look me in the eyes. He must still be angry, but I had no choice. I had no other options. No, no, no. I don't like headstrong guys. I like emotionally intelligent, soft boys like Haidahara Kazuha. My deduction wasn't wrong. If I hadn't identified Gont as the culprit, we would all be dead. For the rest of us to just survive, Gonta had to be sacrificed. Uh, 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 thank, thank you for the thousand don't biddies? Just emote collecting tilde. Hello? Thank you? I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Enjoy the emotes. The freaking poggers. There was nothing I could do. Hey, so... I'm glad we're talking about how to escape, but where did he go? Kokichi. Blech. Huh? The instant Kaito spoke his name, a nervous energy shot through us. No. I haven't seen him. Even if I did, I'd be the one running away. Hmm. I haven't seen him either. It's like he's completely vanished. Hmm. He's apparently really good at hide and seek, so he's probably just hiding somewhere. Um, we can't just let per we can't just let that person be. He's a little too dangerous. No, not just a little, because he he enjoys watching us suffer. They're really just giving me a full recap of what happened last week. Or like two weeks ago. His face just screams that he's having fun whenever he sees us suffer. He's not normal. There's obviously something wrong with him. How annoying. If we weren't in this killing game, I would have assassinated him already. <laughs> <sighs> Ironic. The rules of this game actually make it harder to kill. Hey! Maki roll, that's not good. Playing this killing game is just what Monokuma wants us to do. <sighs> I know. Yeah? Is Maki roll a nickname for Maki? That's a good nickname. <laughs> it makes me want to take a bite out of her with soy sauce and spicy mustard. Right, Maki roll? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I guess I don't know how close we are just yet. Hey, if we don't do anything, we'll be killed by Kokichi next. I bet even now he's hiding somewhere and plotting against us. Guys, I miss Miyu. I can I can almost like hear her voice right now. If Miyu was here, she'd be like, I bet he's plotting to get into my hole. Or like something like that. She would say like a Miyu-esque line. And I really just... I really just, I miss her. I kind of, I miss it. I, I miss being, I, I miss stopping and being like, Ayo, what? What did she just say? I, I, I miss it. No. No, actually, we're safe right now. Kokichi told us his objective was to win the killing game. He wouldn't risk a murder that would so obviously implicate him. But... He might be planning to make us suffer some other way, like how he used Gonta. Anyway, we need to find him as soon as... Oh god, he's here. Oh, okay, no, it's only Monokuma. Here I am! Yeah. Monokuma! Why? What are you doing here? <laughs> I've got some business with you guys, of course. What's the point? It's our prize, right? Hurry up and give it to us. Okay. Can do! Hmm. You're being awfully compliant. Of course, I can't refuse you all. Not when I'm all alone and outnumbered. Huh? Outnumbered? Well... 
but I'm used to being alone. Back in the day, I was alone from start to finish. Anyway, here's your prize this time. Ooh, keys. A fancy one and a not fancy keys. one. This one is the last real key, and this one is the real last key. What? Well, what's the difference? What? Now then. Go find the areas that these keys will unlock. Bye-bye. Bye, Anara. Wait, who used to... Wait. What should we do? Who used to say bye, Anara? Was it Miyu? Did Miyu used to say bye, Anara? Someone used to say bye, Angie. Okay, it was Angie. Okay, thank you. It was Angie. Okay. Sorry, I forgot Angie was a character. You know, she died so many chapters ago. It's hard to remember. So, what should we do about this new area? I... I think we should prioritize searching for the new area over searching for Kokichi. It likely contains a flashback light, and we may discover some new facts. Why you? So you're saying humans are a low priority? Typical for a bloodless, tearless machine man. Um... Uh, I'm not sure we're close enough for you to be making jokes like that. Hey. What do you want to do, Kaito? Ugh. I'm worried about Kokichi, but there's no point worrying about him all the time. All right. Our first priority is to solve the mystery of this academy. Let's investigate. Then... All right. Uh, I'll hold on to that. Uh, okay. Oh, that, that's right. Without meeting eyes, Kaito placed the key into my palm. <gasps> Kaito, Shuichi, what's the matter? You both seem different today. Well... Read the mood, Kibo. <laughs> it's fine. Let's just go already. Damn. We split up and began our search. I love the beautiful lie soundtrack. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, so we have to go find where these keys belong. And the cheat code to doing that is going to the map and looking where a little exclamation point is. And we found one. Guys, it's it's that easy. I'm gonna talk to Maki. Hi, Maki. Hey, baby girl. Hey. I wonder where Kokichi is. There's only so many places he can hide. No. I'm not sure. It's possible that he that he's always on the move to avoid being caught. Punk. That guy's really twisted if he enjoys people suffering that much. <sighs> but I'm not any better. I take people's lives for a living. Hey. Don't say it like that, Maki Roll. You're facing your past self. Unlike Kokichi, he doesn't even want to try and change. That's the worst decision you can make. You're right. True. Uh, okay. uh, yeah, so... Oh my god. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry. I want to like Kaito so badly. I want to so badly. He is just really getting on my last nerves. Yeah, like, stop making it weird, Kaito. I feel like this would be like... Okay. Okay, well, I was wrong. I lost that 50-50. It's unlocked. Alright, let's go. Well, his name is Kaito. You are damn right. You are so correct about that. His name is Kaito. I'm just destined to hate all Kaitos, you guys. It is it is my destiny to have a vendetta against all Kaitos. Who's the other Kaito? The Vocaloid. Ooh. I can see a spiral staircase. It looks pretty long. Uh, like this dick. Where does the staircase lead to? Guys, I have to insert Miu's lines, okay? I have to fill I have to fill the tension. Wow, wow, wow. I don't like how going up the stairs animation feels. This is like giving me motion sickness, bro. Oh. This is a pretty long staircase. Where does it lead? Whew. 
finally reached the top. I feel as if there's something there. It's best to be cautious. America? Oh, is this Kaito's space? Is this Kaito's lab? Why do I feel... I feel like... I'm, like, closer to the ground for some reason. Is this another ultimate lab? Then it must be. Got it. Finally, it looks like this is my research lab. Oh. Kaito. Mm. Those stairs were long and such a pain. I'm tired. Someone give me a piggyback ride. <sighs> they made us climb all these stairs just for the ultimate astronauts lab? Hey. What do you mean, just? This is the main stage, and it's finally been revealed. Hey. I'm tired. Hey, someone give me a piggyback ride. Hey. Anyway, let's go inside. There might be something useful in here. Probably. Don't screw around. What do you mean, probably? It's going to be full of super important stuff. Hey. Is anyone going to give me a piggyback ride? Shut up. <laughs> I'm not going to give you a piggyback ride. Um... Let's go inside, then. Why is Kaito being so mean to Himiko? All she wanted was a piggyback ride, bro. Ooh. Let's go. Should we, <laughs> should we start with the cockpit? Okay, I feel like the cockpit is the most important thing. It's, like, like dead center. So we'll start with the planetarium device. It's a large machine, perhaps for a planetarium. You can project stars on the ceiling with this. It's quite the facility. Hey. How about you give me a piggyback ride on the way down from the stairs? She's still saying that? <sighs> they made us climb all those stairs just for a room that looks like a playground? I feel like this is a huge waste of time. But let's look around for anything useful. I will give Himeko, Himiko a piggyback ride. There's a window. I can see the school in the courtyard. It's pretty high up, but I guess it's obvious from how tall the staircase is. Hey. Looks like this is the top floor. So my room's at the very top? Then... Yeah, so... Oh my god. Bro, if I had to climb all those stairs, my thighs would be on freaking fire bro i would be oh my god i could not all right i think it's time to click the cockpit hmm. this is amazing it looks like the cockpit of a spaceship thank you for hydrate Pretty cool. Perfect for my research lab. You. you can operate this? I mean, it's probably just the simulator. Ah. Yeah, I've never seen this machine, but I've trained with something like it. Got it. Well, I guess it'll all work out. Mm -hmm. What reckless confidence. I don't ever want to be in any vehicle you're driving. You know. But wow, is this really a simulator? I feel like it's a little too elaborate. Ah, no way it's real. I mean, what would it even operate? That felt like some foreshadowing. At that moment. Hey. Come look at this. Huh? Something wrong? Well... I found this in the back. Huh? What is this? A file? The gopher project? Countries from all over the world work together to create a meteorite defense plan. But none of us can remember the details of that. Hmm. So this file has information about the project. What? So what does it say? Uh, okay. oh, hold on, I'll read it. Uh, um... Let's see. The Gopher Project. The last hope to save humanity from the disaster raining down from space. Burdened with this imperative project are boys and girls of excellent talent. That is the purpose of the Gopher Project. Hey. Well, what does it say about the rest? What does it say? Hey. Don't tease us. Just say it already. Well, that's... 
The rest of it is blacked out. I can't read any further. Yeah. What did you say? Damn. Did Monokuma do this? Damn it, he's just screwing with us. Hey. Do you think this part about boys and girls of exceptional talent is referring to us? Hey. And what could the seeds of future hope mean? And what's this about the new world? Is this This is like Noah's Ark. Huh? Noah's Ark? Because. Well, Noah's Ark was built with gopher wood. So Wait. Wait. Like gophers produce wood? Or is it a type of tree? Because I'm thinking like the animal gopher, like the two buck teeth. And, and like, 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 that's what I'm, that's what I'm imagining when I hear about a gopher. It's a type of tree. Wait, I need to Google what this, uh, hold on. I need to see what a gopher tree is. I've never heard of this before in my life. Gopher tree. Oh, it's spelled differently. It just looks like a tree. This looks like a normal tree, okay. Like a big tree. Okay. Of course, it's just a story from the Bible, but to choose that name in particular, hmm. it does seem related. But how is all of this related to the Academy? To us? Yeah. None of this, uh, none of that makes any sense. Well, if we find the next flashback light, we might be able to remember something about it. Now that you mention it, where is it? It doesn't seem to be like it's in the lab. All right. So it must be somewhere else. We gotta look for it first. That's true. You're right. This place is useless to us now. So... I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Because we gotta find the flashback light. The flashback light. Our last hope. But it's something that Monokuma created. I don't want to depend on something that Monokuma has touched. But there's nothing we can do. There's no other way to restore our memories. Hmm. Um, 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 uh. Wait, we still have the key? Oh god, they're gonna make me walk again. Greenery is completely gone. This place really feels mechanical now. It looks like construction is almost done, but what happens then? An ultimate academy, the likes of which we've never seen before. Will we ever find out what that means? Wait, where am I supposed to? Wait, hello? Oh, okay, I have to go down there. Wasn't there supposed to be something mind-blowing that happened at the start of this chapter, or we got trolled? Yeah, I don't know. Hey. Uh, but we've only got two last keys. We would have been better off with a thief's key or an and a magic key. Um, don't worry about it. I was just talking to myself. But how many times has this happened now? What do you mean? Uh, the class trial ends, we get Monokuma's prizes, then we search for a new area. You know, the same flow over and over. And the fact that all the murders keep happening in the areas we discover. I sort of thought, maybe it'd be better if we didn't find anything. But to solve the mystery of this academy, we're going to have to use the flashback lights to remember the truth. Um, of course, I know we need to do that. All right. I'm just going to stop worrying about it. We need to live life. We need to live for Gonta and everyone else and escape this place. Okay. Um. All right, then I'll plainly look around the school. I'll let you know if I find anything. Thanks, Queen. What's up, Kibo? Kibo, wait. Oh, hello? <gasps> um. 
There aren't many doors left that could be opened with the keys Monokuma gave us, correct? There is a door in that wall. Perhaps we can get in. There's something next to the door that seems to resemble a keyhole. Oh, this does look like it would be for a fancy key. Can I... Can I not... Hello? Oh. Huh. 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 Here. When did when did this get here? Well Ramble 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 Clack Oh Um That sound was it the giant door unlocking? That just gave me like Okay, I've been watching uh, Mobile Suit Gundam, uh, Witch from Mercury. It just gave me Gundam vibes. Can I, can, I, can, I, can I open the door now? Oh. What is this place? This is... I feel like I'm on the set of a sci-fi movie. A mecha could probably pop out at any moment. <laughs> Oh my god, did I? No, there's no way. It took every ounce of my strength to hold in what I wanted to say. <laughs> okay, I don't see a mecha. It's gonna be our Gundam Tanaka. <laughs> a mecha says the mecha. Yeah, literally. Wow, this place is huge. What is this place? Oh? What is this? The shutter is huge. This is... It seems to be well fortified. Hmm. That is an electric barrier. We can't raise the shutter while it's active. Hey! If they're protecting it this strongly, there must be some secret in there. Yes. That's a possibility. Let's investigate to see what we can if we can get in. Oh. Wait, it's dangerous. Don't. Before I could finish my warning, Kibo approached the shutter and uh -huh. What is this? Kibo. <laughs> Wait, the way he said Kibo was like a disappointed parent. Kibo, get away from there. Oh my, tisk tisk tisk. Don't you go setting off the alarm now. Okay, okay. Come on, come on. Out of the way so I can turn off that alarm. Jeez, you guys gotta be more careful. Huh? Be careful? What was that alarm for? It was so loud. Yeah. Oh, that's the alarm system. No. Here. No shit, Sherlock. You see that motion sensor alarm above the shutter? Oh my. In order to turn it off, you need to use an alarm remote. Hey, um... A super loud alarm will blare if you approach the shutter without turning off the system. Why? Why is there an alarm system here of all places? <laughs> this place is so important that it needs to be beefed up security. I guess while I'm here, I'll also explain the electric barrier. To turn it off, you gotta enter a 59-digit code in the control panel next to the shutter. I'll tell you what the code is, but only once, so make sure you memorize it. Okay. Guys, someone write this in chat. Chat, guys, please. Please, someone write this down in chat for me. 5039348578573629408597988428 Hey Wait, slow down please. 503? What's the rest? <laughs> Only 3 numbers? Come on, robot. I know you can do better than that. An electric barrier and alarm system, that's pretty tight security. 
Why? What are they guarding so closely? What could be in there? Here. Like I said, it's a very important place. My mood is well, it used to be important, but that was a long time ago. Now it's just pointless. Huh? Yeah, it's pointless, so I might as well give you guys the alarm remote. You can use it to turn off the monitor sensor alarm above the shutter. Beep, beep. We'll turn off the electromagnetic field. Right. See? I turned off the alarm system, didn't it? Now, just use a control panel to deactivate the electric barrier and you can go inside. Hmm. Uh, can you repeat the code that you mentioned earlier? What? Huh? How annoying. But since this is your first visit, I'll let you inside just this once. Oh, wait, I wanted to do it. Wait, I... I wanted to do it. Okay. Like, imagine if they actually implemented that in the game, where it's like, enter the 59 code digit he told you. Like, can you imagine? Like, that was actually part of the game. Like, to, to progress, you need to memorize the 59 digits. That would be amazing. I would give them mad props. For that. I'd be pissed, but I'd be it'd be so fun. What if it closes afterwards? You can use the code for an Easter egg. Ooh, I hope that's the case. You can enter you uh you can either use a control panel inside to restore the alarm system and the electric barrier. Okay, this is gonna come into play for the trial. Or just use a control panel out here, or do nothing. The barrier and the alarm will stay off. Now then. <laughs> This is going to be part of the trial. I, why else would they go through the hassle of explaining something if it wasn't going to be used later? He just left us in this highly secured area? What's his game? Shuichi. Let's go, Shuichi. We have no other direction but to move forward. My inner voice is telling me hope moves forward. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. Oh my god, it's the Gundam wing. Ah, over there, it's... Uh, an Exosol? Oh no! All five of them are here to... It's too dangerous, let's run! Oh. Wait a second. Hmm. They aren't moving. They're not reacting to us, and the lights are off. That's right. Oh, now that you mention it. Oh, wait, I, I read that out of order. I wonder what's going on. Oh, you're back. I like how there's a car wash. Surprised? This is actually the Exosol hangar. Yep, this is where the Exosols are stored. A facility for storing Exosols. This is where I was guarding the precious Exosols so no one would mess with them. But, uh... It's pointless now. That's... Is it because the monocubs are gone? No one can control the exosols anymore? Huh? What? No one can control them anymore? Huh? Am I wrong? Well, well. Oh, don't worry about my reaction just now. I thought a somewhat over-the-top reaction would put you guys on the defensive. Do not mock me! What does that mean? Quiet. Now, now, don't get so worked up. You may be a machine, but you're not a demon model. The deactivated Exosols. Is this hangar pointless now that the monocubs are gone? If that's true, is nothing threatening us anymore? Okay. I have a theory. I have a theory. The Exosols are going to be involved in the next murder. Someone is going to die because of the Exosols. Someone is going to use the Exosol to murder another person. That is my theory. Why else would they say pointless? Why else would they bring all this up? Why else would he go through the method of how to deactivate the alarms or and how to reactivate the alarms? They don't say things if they're not for a reason. It's like in chapter two when Himiko was doing her magic show I knew instantly it was going to involve drowning of some sort because they put emphasis on the tank. And now they're putting emphasis on this area like a lot more than they were in the astronaut place. So something's going to happen here. Hmm. 
that's... This is most likely the control panel for the alarm system and electric barrier. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like it. But there's no reason to turn the barrier back on. We shouldn't touch it. Mm -hmm. Are you saying that because I don't have the 59-digit code to deactivate it memorized? Because all robots can memorize more than three digits? Is that what you're implying? No. N no? All five exosols are being stored here right now. They aren't moving at all. Are the exosols not going to move anymore? Are they no longer going to be used against us? Is this all the same lines? Okay, so I don't have to click all of them. What's this? It is a door. Wait. Is Matt Pat's name Matthew Patrick? Wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait a damn moment. No. Matt Pat is Matthew Patrick? I don't know how I feel about I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Wait, I don't I don't like that. Why why? Why is why? Yeah, I figured it was, like, Matthew, but I thought, like, Pat was, like, just because it rhymed. That's just a theory. A game theory. I don't know. It just sounds weird, Matthew Patrick. I don't know. That's weird, man. This is the bathroom. It doesn't look like it's been used in a long time. Yeah. Why does the toilet look like that? I suppose that makes sense. I'm sure I'm the first person to be in here in a while. Monokuma and Monokub certainly don't need to use the bathroom. But then, why is there a bathroom here in the first place? If they were under the impression we would never be here, why make a bathroom? Hmm. Does that mean I was wrong? Or maybe it's because humans are actually the ones controlling the Monokubs. I saw my overarching theory that this game takes place before one, before Danganronpa one, when the Danganronpa two cast is wreaking havoc as the despairs, and they are the ones controlling this killing game as a test run for the events that happen in Danganronpa one. So like they're they're using this to like pilot whatever happens in the killing game for number one. That's like my overarching theory right now. Well, there's nothing that concerns me here, so I'll go back. What? I don't get to click anything? I don't get to click around? Why let me in here if you're not gonna let me click things? But again, these are just game theories. There's a car wash! This looks like a car wash. Is it for cleaning the exosols? This is... That seems comfortable. Uh, comfortable, huh? Oh, not that. Uh, is there anything else in here? Hydraulic press? This is a huge, powerful machine. That's... This hydraulic press is probably used to scrap decommissioned exosols. Huh? Yeah. Yes, even the exosols could not withstand being crushed by a giant metal slab. You're right. By the way. Also, it seems you can control the hydraulic press using the control panel over there. Hmm. So there's an up and down button as well as an emergency stop button. There's a safety notice written here. The hydraulic press uses an infrared sensor. For safety reasons, this device will come to a halt when the sensor detects a living organism. Huh. That's true. If someone accidentally ended up in the press, the machine would stop. Um, what do you think, Suichi? Huh? On the safety function? Uh, I don't know. Well then. Let's give it a try. Uh, um... uh, try what? As I stood there confused, Kibo suddenly- Kibo, no. Kibo? Kibo? Kibo, no. Shuichi, please. 
Please what? Um, you are not... Okay, Kibo, even if you have a soul, you are not an organic creature. If the press comes to a stop when it detects a person, what will happen if it detects me? Oh, Kibo. Let's find out. No. Are you sure about that? I don't know if the sensor will work. Don't worry. If I sense any danger, I'll move out of the way. I just really want to try it out. If I don't, I'll never be able to rust in peace when I die. Rust in peace. Guys, <laughs> he won't be able to rust in peace. He's not going to change his mind about this. Okay, let's do it. But get out of there if it's dangerous, okay? Certainly. Now, if you would be so kind, start it up. Convinced by Kibo's enthusiasm, I pressed the button. And then... Well, you better have your hand on that emergency stop button. <laughs> oh, no. Why did he roll like that? Why did he roll like that, bro? <laughs> Guys, that's where the entirety budget of Danganronpa 3 came from. That's exactly where it went. You spin me right round, baby, right round. <laughs> that was a close one. Wait. Y yeah, it was. Why'd you do that? Why? Why did you press the four stop button, Shuichi? It's not my fault. But... But at least we know now. Unfortunately, it seems I'm only perceived as a machine, not a human. For now, well, to this hydraulic press, that is. You're right. Then, uh, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Tatravano. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Tatra, if you're in chat, say thank you. Oh, poor Keebs. Kibo. What else is there to investigate? I did everything already. Washing machine. I guess I didn't click all of the exosols. Do I have to click all of them? Wow. Anna, thank you for giving us up to Lord Grimm as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord Grimm, if you're here, say thank you. And you guys, enjoy the ad reviewing experience and the emotes. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's going to be a top of the hour ad break. Uh, you can avoid the top of the hour ad break by subscribing. Otherwise, you can deal with the ads. You've been warned. Sorry about that. Top of the hour ad break. Are the exos not going to move anymore? Are they no longer? Wait, okay, I already said this. Do I have do I have to click all of them, bro? Okay, then we'll click the last. Oh, maybe I have to talk to uh Kibo. Hmm. I've always suspected that I'm I suspected that I'm perceived as just a machine. But it is rather harrowing to have that suspicion confirmed before my eyes. 100%. I may be just a machine to this press, but I'm sure other tests will confirm my humanity. Aw, Kibo. What else is th Oh, a painting machine. This huge machine has several moving arms. What is this used for? This is... This machine is probably used to paint the exosols. You're right. Ah, right. It does smell like... Smell kind of like paint thinner. Um, which means I could potentially use this machine to give myself a makeover. No. I don't think you need a makeover. You're great just the way you are, Kibo. Yeah. Well, of course I am. Then... Why bring it up? Oh, Kibo. Okay, I can leave now? Yes. When it when it when is it gonna get crazy, you guys? I, I'm waiting for like the whoa moment. How come I can't teleport to the casino, bro? They're always trying to rate limit me. How come I also can't teleport over here to the library? Where do I need to go? Oh, I need to go here. Why? Oh, what's up, little buddy? What's up, little guy? 
spoiler. Something will happen here between the end of the game and... Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much for that piece of information. I, I genuinely had no idea that something was going to happen from now till the end of the game. I, no clue whatsoever. Kizodagi, thank you so much for the tier one for seven months, gamer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Okay. I, I'm ready for I, I, I'm ready for things to go crazy. I want I want things to go crazy. When, when are things going crazy? Also, oh oh, this room it's dropping a door. I forgot about this door. Um, Teth Tethless, thank you so much for the Prime sub gamer. Thank you. Four months. That's crazy. You only get one of those a month. Thank you for using the man. Thank you. The last real key. Click clack. Hmm. The key works, but it won't turn. Um, is this a bomb? Could it be? Um, oh, uh, Shuichi, run. Shuichi, Shuichi, run. Sensing danger, I hurried back, back, to, I hurriedly backed away from the door, and then. Uh, oh, no. No. No, 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 not another scary room. No, no, no. I finally, finally. We were done with that stupid floor with the creepy ass like dolls. And now, and now you're telling me there's another creepy ass hallway I have to deal with? A trap? That was dangerous. Hmm. I could have really been hurt. Proceeds to walk even. Is this. Is. Is this Kokichi's room? Is. Hey, this color really matches me, though. Like, like this aesthetic, you guys. Why would you knock? Why, why would you knock right now? Is this not Kokichi's room? I feel like this is Kokichi's room, and I hate him. I hate Kokichi. I, I hate him. Why, why do I have to deal with him right now? Why? For the look of this door, it must be an ultimate lab. Whose lab is it? There's only a few of us left who don't have a lab yet. All right. I should check inside. When I turn the knob, does it only like Kokichi not have a lab? Everyone else has one. Click, click. Hmm. Huh? It won't open. Oh my god! I thought it was gonna be Kokichi. I was gonna have a heart attack. Oh, that research lab is dead because the own. Oh, the research lab is closed because the owner is. <gasps> Is that Rantaro's? Huh? The owner is dead. Hey, um... Per the rules, if a student dies before their ultimate research lab is opened, then the lab will remain closed. That's... That's the first time I'm hearing this. Yeah. That's because it's the first time I've mentioned it. There's no point in complaining to Monokuma. This is his academy. Anyway, if this lab belongs to someone who died, then... is this Rantaro's lab? How disappointing. You'd know what his talent was if you went into his lab. <laughs> It'd be quite dramatic development if you learned what his talent was right now. Huh? W what does that mean? Hmm? Yes, what does that mean? To tell you the truth. That sort of unexpected development can only happen in a real killing game like this one. I don't know. Oh well, what a waste. I can't believe that idiot killed... Did he just... Did this little two-toned bear just insult our queen, Kaide? Did he just... Did he just call Kaide an idiot? I am offended. I am offended. Kaide is anything but an idiot. Idiot! She was an empathetic queen! I think it's time to find a, a rather large piano. I agree. Yeah, yeah, you better run. Better run. I'll get you next time, you little shit. Antara's lab. <laughs> Don't call it an X longer, bro. <laughs> that just sounds like those ads on like a porn website. <laughs> Just take your ex longer every day, and your dick will increase by four inches. It's too late now. 
Shuichi. Ah, there you are, Shuichi. Um, can you come to the dining hall? Samugi wants us all to meet her there. Huh? Huh? Samugi? Yes. She said she found something. I assume she found a flashback light. At any rate, please hurry. I shall go on ahead. So we finally found it. The next flashback light. What will we all remember this time? All right. I should head to the dining hall. But, okay, but the room. But the room. Okay, what can we assume his ultimate talent is based off of the blood and the weapons? It's giving ultimate despair vibes. What if... What if, gamers? Okay, another game theory. Another game theory. What if Rantaro was the spy? What if he was the imposter? What if he was sus? And, and he just unfortunately died. And he literally just died chapter one before he was able to be the ultimate spy. Like, what if that was the case? Oh, no, they're gonna make me walk all the way there. Okay, no, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Dude, the one thing I hate is when they try to make me walk throughout the school. Like, oh my God, I don't want to memorize the map. All right, when is shit gonna go down? I'm ready. Right? Is everyone here? Guys, it's serious. Yeah, you found the flashback light, didn't you? Let's use it already. What? Oh, sorry. It's not the flashback light. Huh? It's not. I honestly thought that's what all this was about. What's that mean? Why did you call us here? I had to go to the bathroom. No. I found something pretty serious. I thought I should tell everyone right away. Pretty serious. Oh, okay. Um. So, what did you find? It's from that one thing. Those letters go into found in the courtyard. There's more added to them. Huh? The letters of the courtyard? Yeah. It looks like the message is complete now. We can finally read it. It says... The world is mine. Kokichi Oma. I would like to point out... I was able to decipher this like three weeks ago. I want to point that out. Before they told us the final answer, I figured it out. I was like... Like, the world. I'm like... And then I'm like, is mine. And then I saw, like, the cock. And I'm like, it's Kokichi Oma. It's that easy, bro. Just, I wanted to, I wanted to point, I just want to point that out. That's what's written there. What? The world is mine. I can't believe his favorite song in Project Sakai is The World is Mine. Sekai de. What's that mean? Well, what's going on? Why is Kokichi's name? <sighs> so that's what it means. It was all just a prank by Kokichi. Huh? A prank? Ah. He kept adding to the message just so he could make fun of us. Seriously, what a messed up guy. <sighs> I see. That definitely seems like something Kokichi would do. That is true, but is that all there is to it? Horse, uh. When Gonta first found the writing, all it says what all it said was. Uh as expected, there are Kokichi World is Mine parodies that were posted on the spot when this was really <laughs> Horse, uh. The worst over time, th th worse, worse m in ma. The world is mine. Oichi, coma. What does this all mean? So. Can we really just ascribe it to Kokichi's pranks? You know... Well, who cares about Kokichi? More importantly, what about that flashback light? Hmm. It seems no one has found it yet. Hmm. 
Maybe that's Kokichi's fault too. He probably found it first and hid it. I see. Hmm, that is possible. Like I thought. We need to do something and find him. Nah, there's no need to bother. Kaito! Stop. Stop. The best way to deal with guys like him is to ignore them. So let's just leave him be. What's wrong? You say that, but you were the angriest out of all of us. Nah. No. There was something I just was thinking about. What? Thinking about? I mean... I'm still a little... It's still a little too early to tell you guys, but... Leave it to me. Just leave it to me. There's no need to, for you guys to worry. I'll figure it all out. What are you talking about? Figure what out? Hey, guys! I mean, I'm gonna get you guys out of here. Kaito is going to get us out of here? Mm, that's... There's the reckless confidence again. Huh? Reckless? Huh. <laughs> You guys don't get it. Jeez, heroes are always misunderstood. Hey. Hero or whatever, it doesn't matter. Just don't overdo it. Of course. Yeah, leave it to me. Perhaps Kaito's confidence is baseless. But it's sort of a relief to have someone so confident in a time like this. Yeah, okay, buddy. A hero, he might really be one. The only way Kaito will be a hero to me is if he kills Kokichi, if I'm being genuinely honest. We weren't able to find the flashback light, so we all left the dining hall and returned to our rooms. You think Kokichi, uh, do you think uh, Shuichi is going to get invited to workout time? I feel like he's, he's going to get uninvited. There's still some time left today. Oh, who do I even have left to bond with? Everyone's like dead. Okay, I've never even talked to you. Uh, hate you. Uh, okay, I filled out Maki and I filled out Samugi. I really only have three options, huh? I guess, yeah, I guess we're gonna go to Himiko. Our 411 queen. Her best friend died, but she says that she'll continue to be an assassin, blah, 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 blah. I still think Maki's a little gauge, guys. I still I still firmly believe in it. Oh, Miyu, I miss you. Rip. Okay, we'll go talk to Himiko. More magic. Where is Himiko? Where is she? Please don't force me to talk to one of the guys. Okay, you're over here. Why are you here, Himiko? I'm so glad you just hopped right into Kaide Maki. It's always been your go-to ship here. Um, they gave me the vibes. And also, like, we found out about Maki's past and how her best friend used to play husband and wife and they were both girls and then in the hotel um maki has her entire vision about um her whole delusion is with her childhood friend and she's imagining her childhood friend i'm like that's a little that's a little hmm that's a little hmm, hmm, hmm. it's a little hmm. There's only seven of us. No wonder the dining hall feels so big now. Yeah, I guess we should just hang out with Himiko. Gonta and Miyu, they were both loud people. Now it's too quiet here. It makes me think too much. <laughs> Himiko and I grew a little closer today. Oh, yeah, what is she like? I'm assuming she likes something magic related. Magic. Uh, do I, have any, do I have like a magic kit or something? Um. Oh, she probably likes a spell book, right? A book that contains old magic gathered from all over the country and collected in an easy to read volume for kids. Any dangerous spells have been removed, so only love spells are left. Does she not like... Does she not like the dreams come true book? She likes an illusion rod. 
I don't have that. Um, 48, 54. Where's 54? Okay, I have four brooms. Perfect. Oh, you clearly know what's important for a mage. Hmm, as thanks, I'll show you some of my magic. Yeah. Hey. Himiko. Yeah. Um. Himiko. What? She looks annoyed. Her glare is telling me to go away. Uh, um. If you don't want to talk to me, you could have just turned me down. What a pain. I'm too lazy to say no. Hmm. I've never met someone so thoroughly lazy. But that is strange. Um, hey, Himiko, why did you decide to be a magician? Okay. I'm not a magician. I'm a mage, and I use real magic. Don't get it wrong. It's magic. It's real magic, okay? You get it, right? Real magic, sure. Then show me some real magic. Then... Mm, well, that's... There's no mana here, so I can't. If you sacrificed yourself, I could. No. I'd rather not be sacrificed, so I'll decline. Mm, that's too bad. I guess you're just not passionate enough about magic. Not passionate enough to sacrifice myself, maybe. Mm. Anyway, what were we talking about? Why I'm a mage? Why are you asking about that? That's... Isn't it strange that such a lazy girl would go through so much work for a magic trick? Remember... It seems like magic requires a ton of work to prepare, so... Oh, a typical amateur question. You don't need to annoy... You don't need annoying preparations for magic. Because <laughs> I'm a mate. I'm talented. Not relying on my talent would go against my master's teachings. Hmm. Master? You have a master, Himiko? Hmm? Uh, Himiko changing and moving forward as a person. Then you go to Himiko Friendship Story 1 and she just reverts back in time. Yes. Uh, yeah. She, she simply, uh, she just like, she, she had a little oopsie, got some uh, amnesia for a second. Okay. It's the first time I'm hearing it, so there's apprentice magi magicians? Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. My master is an amazing archmage. Wait. Hey, wait. You called me a magician again. I'm a mage. She's a mage, you guys. What kind of person her master is? My master these nuts. Sorry. Bum, 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 bum. All right, I guess we'll go talk to her again. I don't think I'll be able to go through six friendship times though, so like this is all kind of pointless. Uh, where? Wow, they're all just separated, huh? Oh wait, I think she was in the dining hall. Yes. It's 5 in this game? Like, PM? Or do you mean... I mean, like, French... Oh, yeah, 5. Sorry. I'm so used to 6 from number 2. Okay. There's one thing that's really upsetting me. You know what it is? Yeah, what's upsetting you? Why? Why is my lab on the first floor? Height is power, you know? My lab is the one that should be on the top floor. Himiko spoke passionately to me about magic. Bum, bum, bum. Would you like to give Himiko a present? What does doing does giving people a present actually do anything in this game? Like legitimately, does it do anything? Ah. Oh, you clearly know it's important for a mage. Okay, wait. This is the exact same things. Hey. Hey, Himiko, is there something I, uh, there's something I wanted to ask yeah. you? Mm, my magic's a trade secret. No. I was wondering why you became a magician. Uh, uh, sorry, um... a mage. You said you had a master. Did he inspire you? Mm. When I saw my master use his magic, I awakened as a mage. Is that all right? Uh, just making sure, but... Did your master say he was a, ma a mage and not a magician? What are you saying? 
Huh? My master is known around the world as a legendary mage. Uh, you need a certain amount of points to actually get the story. Uh, otherwise, you get nothing. But honestly, you don't know if it matters. Oh. Hmm. Himiko insisting that she's a mage is probably her master's influence. Okay. The first time I saw my master was on stage during his magic show. The magic he performed was miraculous. Seeing it triggered the magic power sleeping within me to awaken. But I didn't yet have the skill to control such powerful magic. Mm. Therefore, I studied under my master con to control my own magic. Because hmm. I'm a mage. Fortunately, I took a few years of tra it only took a few years of training to become a full-fledged mage. Master let me help him in his shows as an assistant while I trained. My master taught me the fundamentals of magic because he trained me. People started calling me the ultimate mage. He's actually the ultimate magician, but I probably shouldn't bring that up. How about that? My master learned his trick by studying around the world, you know? Extreme wind magic, levitation, extreme space magic, teleport, extreme meat magic, sawing a person in half, and many more. My master made them all look simple, but they were too hard for me to grasp. I want to teach you the basics, but the stars aren't aligned right now, so... Hmm. That's fine. Nah. So in return, this ultimate mage will answer any question for you. Is magic... Uh, When people get sawed in half, what if a fly gets in your teleportation? <laughs> hey! When people get sawed in half, how do you put them back together? I think that's a great question. No. Uh, it's with magic, you know? Like, you activate the cells and... Well, it's something like that. Y you probably wouldn't get it. Okay. Don't think. Feel. This is the fate equivalent of... Don't worry about it. Hmm. Is that right? But... In any case, I'm sure your master's worried about you right now. Huh? Is something wrong? Himiko's mood changed. You're right. Well, maybe he might be worried. I bet the master's dead! Hmm. Himiko? What a pain. I'm too tired to talk. I'm going back to my room. Okay. Uh, okay. See, see you later then. I like how we upset her and then we got a friendship fragment. Okay. When are things getting crazy? I was told the first 15 minutes this is an announcement from the was wild. Academy. We are we are an hour and a half in. When are things going to be crazy? The time is now 10 p.m. Nighttime has officially begun. Killers, this is your chance to strike. Oh. Victims, you have my condolences. Will you sleep like a baby tonight? Or sleep with the fishes? Is there fish here? Either way, sweet dreams. I thought the piranhas were dead. That was ominous. It's nighttime. I would have been training. Uh. Huh? Um. So, you know, if I was in the killing game, I would not open this door right now. Just saying, if, if I was in this killing game, I would never open my door at night. Just, I would leave that door locked and I would, and I would, I would hide in the closet. I would not, I would not. Oh, hey, Maki. She can kill me, actually. It's fine. It's fine. I, she can kill me. I, I I'm, I'm okay dying by her hands. Hmm. Maki, what's wrong? Well, Kaito asked me earlier to show him my research lab. Oh. Huh? Huh? Your lab? I might as well show him, since I know he won't take no for an answer. So you have to come, too. 
Wait, wh what? She wants me to go? Um. Uh, am I about to get stabbed in the back? Maki invited me, so I should go. My man. My man. Shuichi, being a simp. He knows what's up, bro. He knows what's up. Do I have to? This game, is it a stranger to killing pro tags? Oh, I miss Kaede every day. Hey, why are you here, Sumugi? Um, Sumugi, what are you looking up at the sky for? Oh, Shuichi, I was just looking at the stars for a little. I remembered something Gonta said before. What did Gonta yeah. say? Remember, after Kudumi's trial? Now that she mentions it. It's just, even when all this bad stuff happens, stars are always so pretty. But stars here different, not the same ones Gonta used to. Actually, I was just thinking, the stars are really pretty. I can't tell the difference since I don't usually look at them, but they're pretty. That reminds me. I'd forgotten this feeling. With all the horrible things happening, I always look down. You're right. I need to thank Gonta. You're right. Hey. Hey, do you want to join me, Shuichi? Sorry. There's something I have to take care of. I see. Uh, well, I'm going to stay out here a little longer. Aw. Aw. How sweet. That was nice. Uh, I'm not walking, because to get to Maki's lab, I believe you have to pass the creepy-ass hallway. And I am not doing that. I don't like this music. That's a different floor, bro. I don't know. I, 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 I'm just. This game scares me. Okay. I, I just don't know where, where anything is, and I'm scared. I, just, I just don't like that hallway. Okay. I just want to avoid that hallway at all costs. That's all I'm trying to do, man. That's all I'm trying to do. Ah. Oh. Uh, sorry, I'm late. Hmm? Huh? Uh, okay. Oh, so you came too. Uh, okay. <laughs> Silence. <sighs> As if utterly bored by the painful silence, Maki started up a conversation. What are you trying to pull? Why did you ask to see my research lab so suddenly, Kaito? Ah. Well, I just wanted to see what kind of weapons were here. Um. What? Why would you want to see my wet? You know. Ooh, wow, there's a ton of stuff here. Can you use all of these, Maki Roll? I see. Yes, more or less. So. But there's no swords of any kind here, Japanese or Western, right? That's true. I don't use swords of any type. Not after I botched a mission with a katana. Hmm. I see. Either way, I don't feel like weapons really suit women. Is... Is he? What is... Kaito, Kaito, would you like to explain to me what you meant? Kaito? Kaito? Um, I, before before you continue, I, I, I want to give you a chance to explain what you mean by that sentence. What do you mean you don't feel like a, a weapon suit women? What, what do you mean by that? Do you want to rethink that statement and then you want, you want to think and come back with a different one? Because why? Hey. Care to explain why you wanted to see my weapons? Ah. Didn't I tell you this morning? I've got a plan figured out. Huh? Oh, what's in this black case over there? As if backing away from the conversation, Kaido headed to the far bookcase. 
So What's in this? Some kind of weapon? Then if you want to know, why don't you open it? Hmm, let's see. Kaito pulled something back from the uh, from the black case. What's this? It's a bunch of parts. I see. It's a disassembled crossbow. Mm. Huh? Hmm, so when you put them together, they become a crossbow. Looks interesting. Hey, Maki Roll, can you teach me how to put it together? Sure, whatever. Put this Maki's so cute. and this together. Having a moment with my Maki role. Hi, Maki. We're just... I, I felt like I needed to fix... I needed to fix the scene, you guys. I, it, it, it wasn't... It wasn't... It wasn't working out the way I wanted it to. So, I, I think... I think this is better. I like how my hand just perfectly goes on her shoulder. It's like I'm caressing her shoulder right now. Yes, Maki. What a good girl. You've been doing so well. You've been doing so well, Maki. Equally balanced, as all things should be. Ruin their moment? No, no, no. I'm making my moment. There's a difference. Um, like this? Why are you teaching him how to do this, Maki? And then, put that other part in the opposite way. Wow. Haley, thank you so much for gifting out five subs. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you got gifted a sub, please, 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 make sure to say thank you to your sub daddy and enjoy the ad-free viewing experience and the emotes. Thank you. Wait, that's wrong. Oh, my bad. It goes this way. Mm-hmm. Then next, it's... While watching those two, the memory of a similar scene came to my mind. Oh! Why couldn't they let me... Why couldn't they let me linger on the scene a little bit longer, huh? 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 I wanted to look at the scene a little bit longer. That was way too quick. I wanted... Kaede. Oh, Kaede. Kaede, I miss you. Eventually, they succeeded in putting together the crossbow. Oh. Whoa, since I built it, it became an extra cool crossbow. So what? It doesn't matter who builds it, though. That's right. It seems like it's a bit complicated, but I think I could do it by myself next time. Hey. Toichi, do you want to learn too? No. No, that's alright. I sort of understand from watching anyway. Hmm. Then, let's put it away. You can easily take it apart by reversing the steps. Are you serious? Wait, do I have to do it? That's right. Who else is going to do it? My bad. Yes, sorry. I don't feel too good again. What? <laughs> It seems like I'm not at 100%, so I gotta go back first. Got a minute? Such a little shit. Ignoring Maki trying to stop him, Kaito fled the room. Aw, oh, she's pouting. Jeez. I knew he was a type he wasn't the type to clean up, but I never thought he'd run away with a crappy lie. So annoying. How frustrating. He's the worst. Yeah, say it, Queen. Well. Ah, uh, well, that's just Kaito. <sighs> Did he take it with him? I actually don't know if he took it with him. You're the worst to... What did I do? What did Shuichi do? No, 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 no. Okay, Maki. Maki, I love you. You're one of my favorite characters in this game. But, no. You need to sit down. Shuichi literally did nothing wrong. Like, I'm not Shuichi's biggest fan. But I can at least acknowledge that he did nothing wrong. Like, Shuichi has been trying to solve all the murders. Without him, everyone would have died in chapter one. Like, what is this? Huh? Well, I'm sure you know why I invited you, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, I do. You were trying to get Kaito and I to make up. You don't know? It's not like he hates you or anything. He's just being stubborn. That's Kaito's problem, not my problem. But... I just don't know what to say to him. I, I had no choice. Gonta, if I didn't do something, everyone would have died. I... I don't think it'd be right to apologize for that. Hey! I'm sorry, Maki. I just need more time. 
I didn't realize you two would require such high maintenance. Sorry. But now that she mentions it, I didn't realize it earlier. I didn't realize Maki would be so concerned about us. Thank you. Aww. In the end, I was the one who ended up disassembling the crossbow. Okay, so Kaito did not take the crossbow with him. After I finished, I returned to my room. Just like always, we're surrounded by problems. The academy is full of mysteries, and I'm worried about Kokichi. And then there's this th the thing with me and Kaito. All right. I need to make up with him. For us, and for Maki. I fell asleep thinking about it. Uh-oh. Damn it. Listen. Maybe. Why? Why now? Okay. 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 I'm about to say something that's going to be perceived as heartless. Maybe you wouldn't be coughing up blood if you weren't being sexist earlier. You know, I think coughing up blood is kind of is kind of um girly. Uh I don't think coughing up blood really suits a man. Hmm. Maybe, maybe you should be, I don't know, coughing up car parts or like machine oil or something kaito instead of feminine blood. You know where else women bleed from? Their vaginas. Is your mouth a vagina? Why is blood coming from it? Sorry. Sorry. I, I just, listen, I, Kaito, he's, he's really getting on my last nerve right now. The mouth of sea. <laughs> I was following you for a second. Yeah, what kind of man coughs up blood instead of whiskey? <laughs> exactly. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Oh, Kaito, I can't believe you said weapons aren't for girls. Why? Me? Damn it. I'm running out of time. I can't die like this. Like hell am I gonna... Die here. Oh my god, is he gonna die? I, I still haven't gone to, to space in a minute. Like, should I be feeling bad for him? Because I don't. He's. Is this Rambo? Is this a Rambo reference? Recklessness is a beautiful thing. It's so beautiful. I want to print the words reckless beauty on a t shirt. Because recklessness is the stuff that dreams are made of. It's what makes you run at full speed with no regard for your limitations. It's what makes you excited by anything. Some say it's foolish, but recklessness is what causes new events to unfold. So while you're still alive, live your life so recklessly that it makes you immortal. And if haters laugh at you, let them. They just don't appreciate reckless beauty like you do. Uh, how is he the ultimate astronaut if he hasn't gone to space? A lot of these ultimates have not done what their ultimate thing is. Like, a lot of them. Like, they're all, like, not real ultimates. That's, like, that's also one of my theories. Ahem. This is an announcement from the Ultimate Academy! One of my theories is also that all of the talents got, like, shuffled around when they got their memories back. I think that's still a really good theory. Rise and shine, kiddos! It's another gorgeous day for a killing game! So get out there, embrace your homicidal urges, and have a fabulous day. Oh my god, thank you, Monokuma. Yeah, Maki has 300 confirmed kills. I only have four. I'm, I'm still lacking. One day I'll be a full-fledged murderer. Oh, Himiko. Hey. Hey, Suichi. Oh, that was cute. Uh, okay. I'm still not used to Himiko being so energetic. Mm -hmm. It seems like everyone's gathered at the dining hall today, too. 
Since I've been here, I've been a, it's been I've been on a pretty regular schedule. You're right. Me too. I'm eating. I'm even even. I'm even eating breakfast every morning now. Mm. It's probably uh. It'd probably be good if I kept this. Bro, I forgot how to read. It'd probably be it. It'd probably be good if I kept up this schedule after we get out of here. If I do that, it'll probably enrich my magical powers even further. Right. More importantly, it might be because of this schedule, but I think I've grown a little bit. I'll grow them bigger and bigger this way. Then no one will be able to call me titless. Huh? Here we go. N nothing. I'll get going now. Okay. I miss Miu as well. Oh, I miss Miu. Oh, it's this way. Medium is premium. Wow, they always stand in the same order. Kokichi's not here. Well, if he was, it'd be complete chaos. What are you thinking of? Huh? Well... You're worried about Kokichi, right? We're all worried, too. Yes. I searched everywhere for him, but I couldn't find him at all. <laughs> sure enough, he's a master of hide-and-seek. It can't be! He couldn't have escaped by himself, right? Well. No. As, as long as Monokuma's here, I do not think that is possible. Jeez. Like I said, just forget about him. Anyway. Listen up. Everyone, I got something to tell you. Or you guys, whatever. Kaito has an idea? It's a little awkward with Kaito right now, but I should listen. Um, What's your idea, Kaito? So... Hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. Lacking subtlety, Kaito averted his eyes from me and looked around. You know... Looks like Motokuma is in here. Well, I wouldn't care even if he was. Kaido turned to us, his expression suddenly serious. Listen up. Didn't I tell you guys yesterday? I'm gonna get you out of here. But to do that, I need your guys' help. Please. So please, help me out here. Huh? I mean... In order to help you guys, I need you all to work with me. Wait. Uh, hold on, what are you talking about? Um... Work with you? What do you mean? Got it. <laughs> Fight Monokuma with me. Huh? Fight? Monokuma? Listen up. Now's our best chance. Since the Monokums are gone, the exosols that we that were protecting him can't move. Let's do it. Now's our chance to get together and kick Monokuma's ass. Fight Monokuma? I see. That must be why Kaito was looking for weapons. But Monokuma's probably got spares. Won't it be pointless no matter how many we beat? You know what's crazy? Why have they not gone back down to the library to figure out what was, like, in the door? Right? Like, was it... Why did we never do... Why did we never go back to that? Yeah. Then all we need to do is destroy them one by one till there aren't any left. But... We don't know what Monokuma's got up his sleeve. Even without the Exosols, this academy is still under his control. Hey! Then, you're fine with the way things are now? Do you guys really want to continue this killing game? Are you okay with that? Listen up. The only way to change things now is to fight. If you want to put an end to this killing game, then we gotta fight. Hey guys! If we don't stand up now, then win! But... But, we don't have anyone who can fight, like Gonta or Tenko. Then... Then I'll just have to fight on their behalf. What? Well... I know an assassin wouldn't say this, but I'm sick of all this killing. Maki... Everyone! Let's do it. What? Huh? Kibo, you too? I heard it. My inner voice that guides me when I feel lost spoke to me again. It said, Now is the time to stand and fight. It may be da a dangerous course of action, but it will prevent future victims. I... Then I've decided that I will fight Monokuma. 
I've been waiting for those words. Very well. I'll lend you my power. What? Huh? Were you really waiting for that? I... I don't want to lose any more friends. It'd be even more painful than losing yourself. Great, huh? That's why I'll fight. I'm not afraid of Monokuma. Yeah. Okay, then. Me too. We can't let the killing game go on like this. Hey. You're going to join as well, right, Shuichi? Not the peer pressure, bro. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, right. All right. But it's decided. Let's do it. We're going to beat Monokuma to a pulp. Yeah. Let's show him what we're made of. Mm. I won't even need to use my magic. No. No, I think if you, you if you can use magic, now's the time for it. Well. And when did you guys want to start? I'm fine with starting right away. Ah. Well, don't get ahead of yourself. Because this will be the final battle. We should make sure we're prepared. What? Prepared for what? I mean... Prepared for battle, of course. Well, I'll take care of that for you guys. <laughs> Wait. Sorry, I just realized. I don't know if I've mentioned this before. They're all wearing different school uniforms. Like, I feel like usually there's like some sort of cohesion amongst the school uniforms. But all of them are wearing different uniforms. And that just also makes me feel like... My original theory, where they're not actually students of this academy, when they were kidnapped uh, and brought here, so they're from all over. Okay, oh, they're from different schools. Oh. Well then, never mind. Huh. Never mind, I retract my game theory by Matthew Patrick. Well, since I was the one who brought this up, I gotta get things prepared at least. So you guys gotta prepare yourselves mentally. All right. The battle's gonna be tonight. Once it's night time, let's meet up at the gym. Wait. Wait. I thought one of the rules is that you're not allowed in the gym at night. Wait, is, is that not one of the rules from chapter like two? That's, you're not allowed in the gym after nighttime. That's, it's one of the rules. That's why Kurumi had to do all that shit with, like, the, uh, the rope. Had a nose swim. No, but you also weren't allowed in the gym at, um, after, uh, uh, after nighttime. Rules don't matter if you kill the giant. <laughs> Rules are meant to be broken. Well, you got me there. They're probably not allowed to kill Monokuma either. Well, is, is that in the rule book? <laughs> like, I don't know. But I specifically remember not being allowed to step in the gym was a rule. Because Kurumi had to kill, or had to like shove um, uh, uh, Ryoma into the piranha box through the window still without being in the room. After that, we ate breakfast and prepared for our final battle. Wasn't it no swimming? It was no swimming and no, no gym time. Because otherwise she would have just walked into the gym. Like, why go through all the hassle of, like, not going into the pool if you could just enter th through the gym? Like, it was both. You couldn't swim, and you couldn't go into the gym. Mina's right. Thank you, Mike and Ike. I remember that chapter well. Thank you for hydrate. Actually, I'm gonna go get me a sparkly water I, i'm still in the room one second i feel like i need one for what's about to happen okay you think they go to the gym to lure him out by breaking the Ooh, that's actually a great idea of, of them i don't think kaito is that smart though all right, you guys ready for some ASMR? Oh yeah, you guys, on Tuesday's stream, um, I should be getting some Honkai Impact uh, blind bags that I purchased from AliExpress. So we'll do some hand cam action on Tuesday. You heard it here first, boys. Mina's really hating on Kaito. I switched it up real quick, you guys. I ordered them like a month ago and I think they're all coming on Monday. 
So I'm really excited. Uh, uniforms being different. You don't think a lot of the previous cast uniforms were the same anyway? They weren't the same, but they were still, um, it was different. I don't know. Like, they were, they were, they were, they were like, the same, but different. You have Kokichi. Why would you say it? The only person whose name starts with a K that I like is Kaide. Okay. I'm tired of Kokichi. I'm tired of Kaito. And I don't give a shit about Kibo. Who else is there? Oh, I don't mind Kurumi. There were so many K names in this game. A fight with Monokuma. It's true that this is our chance, but... Komaida. Uh, he's fine. What is this sense of unease? It's because Monokuma is probably two steps ahead of us. And Kokichi, too. I can't imagine he just ignored this. He must be planning something. We have to be cautious. What? More free time? I am kind of tired of free time. I just want to get to the main event already, bro. Like, why is there so much free time? Is she in here? You can skip, but like... I don't want to talk to them. Where is she? Is she not in here? Hello? Where are you? Where is she? Hello? What? The map said she was here. Oh, she's in her lab. Uh, her lab is here. <laughs> what a crazy chapter. These last two hours have been off the rails completely. <laughs> I'm just like waiting for it to get crazy, bro. Yeah, I know free time doesn't take long. I'm just like shocked that we're getting more free time. Oh. She asked to leave her alone, but we're gonna hang out with her. Uh, I feel sick from eating too much this morning. Oh, we took care of her. Himiko and I grew a little closer today. We will give her another broom. And she really likes it. <laughs> Bro, that's me at the gym. Breathing makes me too tired. Huh? Breathing? You need to breathe or you'll die, you know? I'm a mate. It's fine. I'll just suck in oxygen with my magic. That's impossible. I have to think of something that will perk her up quick. Hey. Himiko, can you continue the story you were telling before? The story from before, what was it again? Remember. When you ha uh, when you became an apprentice and you were up on stage with your master. Mm -hmm. What's the point of telling you? No. Point? No, that's not... Hmm. Well, I guess you can't help it. A mystical mage is right in front of you. Thank you for stretch. Oh, uh, do you guys hear my fingers cracking? Oh, well, that's just how it is. I'll show you how special mages are. And I'll teach you how many hardships I had to go through. Himiko closed her eyes and inhaled a deep breath. Then she slowly began speaking. I... As I traveled the world with my master, I realized something odd. When I was on stage, the audience was cheering for me, not my master. I thought... There's no way they'd be cheering for me over my master. Huh? No way. That's right. 
Of course not. My master's a great mage that exceeds even me. But I knew what was really happening. Why? What do you mean? We were sent letters and gifts but from fans all the time, but they were all addressed to me. They lied about how great I was and called my master old-fashioned. Aww. Huh? Jeez. They were terrible to make a trap like that. I didn't want their praise. Huh? That's right. It was a trap to make me leave my master. Someone trying to take my master's title of Archmage did something so sneaky. No, I don't think something nefarious like that. Nothing that complicated. Perhaps it was around the time that the apprentice succeeded her master. Himiko is the ultimate magician after all. But it worked. My master got caught in the trap. The curses... The curse and the letters affected him and slowly drained him of his powers. And people started to notice me more. I was invited to magic shows. Most of them wanted to make me the headline, but not my master. Himiko stared at her feet, shoulders shaking. I couldn't tell if she was angry or sad. <laughs> I don't know. Everyone's stupid. My master's the best mage. And that's why I, his pupil, became such a great mage. Why you? Why don't they get that? There's no way I'm better than my master. Hmm. And then my master, he died. Huh? He freaking died. Uh, the story ends here. Huh? What a pain. I'm tired of talking. I'm closed for today. Oh my god, I'm gonna start saying that when I don't feel like talking. I'm closed. Come back tomorrow during working hours. I watched Himiko walk away and I returned to my room. Dun, dun, dun. That's true. Well, I guess we'll go talk to Himiko again. I still can't believe there's free time right now. Like, some shit's about to go down and, we, and we're just, we're out here having free time. We should be getting ready for war. For war, I say. Where are you, Himiko? Where's your room? Yeah, she's open. The final battle is getting closer. You should be confident and relax like me. Himiko, you're shaking. Are you okay? Oh, okay. I guess we're caught up now. To like the game. Like for her stuff. I'm not trembling. I'm charging my magic. It's like trembling with excitement. Oh, Kaide. I spent some time encouraging the trembling uh, Himiko. Himiko and I grew a little closer today. And I will give her my last room. What else does she like aside from the room? Oh, we don't even know if we're going to get to the other... Uh, wow. The other one. Sorry. Shuichi, I'm sorry I treated you like that. Huh? Where's this apology coming from? I... Before, I thought it was a pain to tell you about magic, but... Okay. Now it's different. I've changed. I've decided to live looking forward. So I'm going to tell you about magic without saying it's a pain. Hmm. What is this? She's different than usual. Hey, Shuichi. Isn't that why you came here? To continue where we left off? Uh, okay. Yeah, right. Of course. I'd like to hear it, if that's okay. Perhaps there's no real point to this story at all. Yeah. I'm pleased to see you show so much interest in mages. But... I couldn't stop my master from retiring. The person after his title got what he wanted. Huh? What? What do you mean? Mm. One time, my master was about to start one of his shows. Way in the back of the audience, my master's enemy was working his scheme. Do you know about the mortal enemy of mages in this world? Uh, um... Mortal enemy? Okay. They have the power to take away magic. An anti-mage. This is starting to sound like a manga. Why you? This anti-mage took away my master's magic and made him fail. Huh? 
Why, you? My master was set up. There's no way he would have failed otherwise. My golden age master wouldn't lose to an anti-mage. But... The audience turned against my master, so I tried to wake them up. On behalf of my master, I destroyed the anti-mage. So Himiko tried to fix her master's mistakes, but that means... With my magic. My master wouldn't lose against someone I could defeat. Yes, I told them off. The show ended without any more problems, but... Ugh. When I went back to the green room, my master was gone. I haven't seen him since then. Just as I thought. He was probably embarrassed to have Himiko fix his mistakes. That's... Himiko, none of that is your fault. Stop it. Stop it. I know, I don't need your pity. Sorry. No. There's no need to apologize. I know what's my, what my master must have been thinking. It'll be okay. He probably disappeared for my sake. He probably didn't want to make... He didn't want to get me involved in a mage power struggle. That's right. That must have been it. Hmm. Damn. Not the mage power struggles, bro. The anti-mage was out to get him. All right, all right, is it time? Is it time, boys and girls? Ding dong, bing bong. Bing bong, ding dong. Uh, where's Monokuma? Um, uh, huh. Ooh, hmm. Where's Monokuma? I'm... I'm scared. I'm scared. Monokuma... Is it here? What was that? No. Is the plan compromised? I should get to the gym. I'm sure everyone's already gathered there. Am I allowed to teleport? Where is the gym? Okay. I'm scared. Guys, I'm scared. I'm scared. We have to go in. Oh, we have to go in. All right. Everyone's here. I hope you're all ready. Oh. Are those weapons? Oh, yeah. So you went to my lab yesterday to find weapons to use against Monokuma? Got it. Yeah, that's right. Hey guys. Anyway, let's get started. You guys better be ready. <gasps> uh, you don't mean ready to die, right? Idiot. What? No, I mean obviously ready to fight and win. <sighs> ready to fight and win. Yeah. We challenged him a bunch of times, but it never worked out, right? That's because we gave up. Listen up. But this time, we can't give up. Because this is our final chance. We're gonna beat up Monokuma and end this ridiculous killing game. <laughs> no. 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 No! No! What a kawinky dink. I was planning on ending this killing game too. Upon hearing that voice. We all spun on a dime and saw him standing before us. Kokichi! What? What is he? Is, is he holding a grenade? Kokichi! Is... Is he holding a grenade? You know, I was also thinking about how to end this killing game as soon as possible. I... I don't like this. I don't... I don't like... I don't like this. I don't like him. I don't like the situation at hand. I... I'm just... 
there's a lot going on. There's a lot happening that I I'm not particularly fond of. You little, what are you? I wouldn't move if he I also were has you. the Fuhua crazy if eyes, if bro. You don't want to become this little guy's prey. Th that's... Is that a bomb? <laughs> Is that a bomb? Uh, the bomb? Yep, it's exactly that. Which means. If you don't want to be blown to pieces, then you need to listen to what I'm about to tell you. God, what's up with the crazies and bombs, bro? God, how I did not miss you. So? Wait, what was I going to tell you? Don't lie! Y you're the one who said it! You little... <gasps> what are you going to do with that bomb? Ah. Oh, yeah! I was going to tell you my purpose. See? You know how it says in the rules that the killing game will continue until there's only two left? But... But it never mentioned anything about how many you can kill, right? Huh? What? Well, you know... So here's a question for everyone. <laughs> Who wants to survive with me? Just the two of us. It can't be. It can't be. You... What did you say? Are you planning to kill us all with that bomb? Are you serious? Then the way you're gonna end the killing game is... I thought maybe I should kill everyone. Except for me and, like, one other person. Kill everyone? Kill everyone? If I did that, I'd be able to end the killing game I mean, and still abide by school rules, Technically, right? Monokuma did not put a limit on how many people you were allowed to kill in this game. He did in the other two, but he did not in this one. Well then, who wants to live? It's first come, first serve. On the count of three, first one to raise their hand wins. Don't screw around. Quit screwing around. Who'd ever agree to that plan? I... Even if you threaten to destroy me, I have no intention of being manipulated by you. Why you? I, I'm scared of dying, but nothing good will come from surviving with you. What was that? Bro, Kaide should have just gotten the first kill immunity and 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 been and been free. I also don't want to survive with someone who'd do such a thing to Gonta. You bastard. I'd rather kill you. Is that all right? Kokichi, you just don't get it. We're not going to do what you want. Oh. What a surprise. I didn't think this would go exactly as I predicted. Huh? <laughs> I lied about killing everyone. I just wanted to test your determination. Huh? Determination? Yeah. I wanted to see if you guys were determined enough to end the killing game. So, let's work together. We can use the ultimate anti-monokuma weapons. Ultimate anti-monokuma weapons? I don't trust this little shit, bro. Could it be... The anti ultimate anti-monokuma weapons? Are you talking about the hammers? Cut it out. There's no reason to listen to him, guys. Come on, at least hear me out. This is also Miyu's memento. Yeah. Miyu's memento? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're called electro hammers. And they're something I asked Miyu to invent. How exciting. They're a pretty incredible invention that disables any electro machine on contact. Huh? Disables electronic machines? <laughs> I bet that includes Kibo too. They should be helpful against Monokuma, right? I feel like they're trying to give like little like hints that Kibo is going to be the next death because like a lot of machine stuff has been happening, but I don't think it's going to be Kibo. What? Uh, thank you for hydrate and stretch. Let me stretch. Wah! Helpful against Monokuma. Oh, that was a good stretch. Hold up. Hi, random. Hey, how do you know we were gonna fight Mono? Ah. Well, I just happened to be hiding in the dining hall when I heard you discussing it. Mm -hmm. The fact that you were hiding there means it wasn't a coincidence. But I was just so elated when I heard you guys wanted to fight Monokuma. Because that was my plan all along. That's how I want to end this killing game. That's why I asked Miyu to make this, to defeat Monokuma and the Monocubs. Stop it. Don't lie. You've been fixated on this killing game the whole time. Always messing around. Isn't that really something Miyu made? Aren't you lying about that too? 
kind of disappointing. Huh? You gotta doubt that too? <gasps> of course. Have you forgotten everything you've done to us up until this point? Yeah. Yep, I forgot. <sighs> How do you expect us to believe that? Because. This doesn't make sense. If Miyu made that weapon, why didn't she... Why didn't she use that instead of murdering someone? Hmm. Yeah, if there were weapons to fight against Monokuma, we should have all fought together. Cats. This is all your fault. What? Huh? Our fault? Oh, man. I told Miyu too, you know. Around the time I asked her to invent this. I told her that we should fight against Monokuma, but she... What a pain in my ass. Why do I have to make this? Well, you know. Quit complaining. This is all an unfuckable, ugly bitch like you is good for anyway. What? Huh? Oh, okay. But... But this is so exciting. When this is done, we could probably defeat Monokuma, right? Especially when we all join forces. Don't be stupid. If you're gonna do it, do it yourself. It doesn't matter if we promise to work together, someone will still betray us. Betray us and kill one of us. Besides, this weapon won't exactly make a difference. We'll all be killed by an exosol before we can use it. I just invented it because I was asked to. I have no intention of defying Monokuma. There's no way we can beat him, and I can't afford to die here anyway. Oh, baby. She does die, though. Not when I still need to invent something that's gonna change the world. So, if you want to defy Monokuma, do it yourself. Come with me! But if it does work out, come help me, okay? I'll do anything, anything to thank you. Someone will still betray us. That's what she said. Well, the Exosols were still moving at the time, so I don't blame her, but... She was afraid to trust you guys. The fear of betrayal overcame her, and that's why she bloodied her hands in this killing game. Damn. But you guys are different. You guys wouldn't lose to the fear of your friends betraying you, right? You showed your determination to fight together, and you ignored my advice from earlier. No. And you would lie about killing all of us just to test that theory? Yeah. That's why I want, it, I want you guys to do your best. Don't screw around! What are you saying? You probably just lied about talking to Miyu. Ah. Oh, by the way, the electro, electro hammers weren't the only thing Miyu made. She made this thing, too. What? The bomb? <laughs> wow. uh, Kami, thank you so much for the tier one for six months, gamer. Thank you, thank you. It's not exactly a bomb, though. Even if it is called an electro bomb. It jams electronic signals by scattering particles that interfere with electromagnetic waves. Um... For two hours, any and all electronic devices within 50 yards will be completely disabled. It's perfect for any secret activities, too, since it doesn't leave any debris behind. This invention is extraordinary, but I only have three of them. My bad. So I need to use them carefully. You guys will have to settle for the electro hammers. Please, wait! Settle? We have no intentions of using such suspicious-looking hammers. But... Are you sure? You can use these electro hammers not only against Monokuma, but also to get through the underground tunnel. Huh? See? You can use the electro hammers to destroy the electronic traps in that place. Huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, are you finally starting to believe me? But... Be careful. Electro hammers run out of battery pretty quickly. So if you use it against an exosol, it'll run out of juice with just one shot. Got it? But once the, uh, the battery depletes, it takes 24 hours to fully charge, so watch out for that. Anyway, I'm done explaining it, so I'll hand the electro hammers over. Well, you know. I'll let you guys talk it over. I won't interfere anymore either. Huh? See? I'll be looking from a distance, or something like that. You don't want me around anyway. No. Wait, before you run off again, there's something I need to ask you. What is the writing in the courtyard? If oh. I remember correctly. Good job, Shuichi, for bringing this up. And if you did, why? Hmm? Hmm? What's that? I have no idea. Don't lie! Don't play dumb! Your name is on it! You've gotta be the one who did it! But... 
But I wouldn't gain anything from writing a message like that, would I? That would just make you guys suspect that I'm the mastermind. Huh? The mastermind? Because... Yeah, the world is mine. Kokichi Oma would make me seem like the mastermind. Ah. Oh, I know. This is Monokuma's doing. He's trying to get us to suspect each other. But don't worry. I truly want to end this killing. Suddenly, a dark shadow slid between us, quick as a flash. That's Maki, boys. Oh, yeah, buddy. Can I just say? Can I just say? Maki should be in the Honkai Impact universe simply because she also loves choking people out. And I feel as though so does Honkai Impact. They also enjoy choking people out. And I think they would get along pretty, pretty, pretty swell. I think, I think they would be very, I think they, they, they really, they complement each other well. Choking despair. Tell us the truth. What are you scheming? Like I said, I just want to end this killing game. That's all. If you don't tell us the truth, then I'll break you. Oh my god, can she break me? Can she? Bro, I want to. I want to be broken. I. I would. I want to. I would like. I would like to be broken by her. Please. Is, is, is this like an. Is this like it? Is it? Is it an um an open invitation? Uh, it, it, do I have to sign up on a wait list? Maki roll, cut it out! You'll get killed if you don't. I told you we can't play this killing game. That's just what Monokuma wants. Dragon, thank you for wasting five thousand channel points on absolutely nothing. You pathetic piece of shit! Literally wasting. All those channel points on garbage. You are more useless than Kokichi. You are absolutely pathetic. A literal waste of time. Can you open your mouth right now? Open it nice and wide. Are you ready to go? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> pathetic. Did it get more expensive again? No, I only raised it once. Maki let go, and Kokichi's body fell in a heap on the floor. Jeez, you're such a meanie. How could you do something like that to a friend? What? Friend? As if. You guys may not think that way, but I see all of you as my friends. Th that's why I'll be back. I won't interfere anymore, so please continue to walk path, walk the path you believe in. Kichi picked himself up and staggered to an exit. Fierce Swag, thank you for wasting 500 channel points and absolutely nothing, you pathetic piece of shit. He left behind the electro hammers. Hmm. No. You mean about those hammers? They've got to be a booby trap somehow. Hmm. But looking at it, it definitely seems like something Miu made. Hey. Either way, I refuse to believe anything he says. Ah. You know, if it's not a lie, then isn't this one, uh, our one chance to escape? Huh? Listen up. If we use these electro hammers, maybe we can get through the underground passage. Why don't we try it? What is it? You mean actually do what Kokichi is suggesting? What? No matter what we do, it'll be dangerous. But are you really going to believe Kokichi? But you know, our goal is to escape with everyone, right? If there's a chance we can do it, then we should take it. We don't have enough time. Huh? Time. Okay. Yeah, with Monokuma. Like, he's gonna get in our way soon. Hmm. True. This is our best chance now that he's not making any obvious mo movements. Hey, so... Let's get to the underground passage with these hammers. We'll get out to the out we'll get to You're the outside right. world. If we can escape, then we'll find out the secret of the outside world for ourselves. I see. We don't know if that's a lie or a truth yet. The secret of the outside world. The despair Gonta mentioned. Was that a lie? Is it the truth? We have to get out. You're right. All right. Well, the secret of the outside world might just be a lie anyway. We must do it. 
either way, we should at least try so we won't have any regrets. What should we do? That punk. If the hammer is a trap, then I'll really kill that asshole. Come on, man. You can't kill him. Just punch him. Okay, okay. I know. I'm just going to beat him to a bloody pulp. I see. If everyone else is going to do it, I understand. Yeah. Then I'll prepare myself for the underground passage again. Got it. Wow. Last time we did the underground passage, they all got mad at they all got mad at Kaide for having hope of escaping. And now they're just willy-nilly going back down there because Kaito suggested it. Hey right, guys, I'm just pure I'm I'm forever salty about Kaide. Let's get going. We're gonna escape from the, the underground passage for sure this time. Yes. Hmm. That's not it. Okay, come on. Uh, am I going to play the mini game again? All right. Because like I'm really bad at that kind of game. Bum, bum, bum. Is she gonna leave the pile of weapons there? Please don't make me walk all the way over there. Uh, okay. Did Kaide prepare anti-magic, uh, anti-trap hammers? Kaide was pretty and had hope, and that's more powerful than any hammer. Um, Kibo, what's wrong? You're not gonna head downstairs? Shuichi. Uh, I have a favor to ask you. This hammer disables electronic machines, right? Are you concerned that it will disable you too? Well, of course. The outcome will settle once and for all how Miu perceived me. Hmm. I don't think it's a good idea to test that. Remember the hydraulic press? Besides, it's supposed to use a lot of energy. We shouldn't waste it. I see. I see. It would be a waste. Yes, we shouldn't be wasteful. Huh, so robots pout too. Wow, we're going back to the start. All right. All right. What should we do? Are we really going to be okay? Mm. What are you afraid of? Of course it's going to be okay, right? Actually, you seem anxious too, Himiko. Huh. There's no need to worry. Of course it's going to be a little dangerous, but don't worry about it. We've got all these ultimates here. If we all work together, everything will be all right. Ugh. Yeah. Hi, Day. Hold on. Hold on. I need her here with me. Um. Hold on. I I I need her with me. I miss her. We're gonna we're gonna hit. Uh, Save right there. I'm gonna image. I I miss her. I miss her so much every day. I think about her. I literally think about her every day. She's right there with me, you guys. Wait, shit, I moved myself. Right there. Okay. She's she's here with us, you guys. Kaide Kaide's still here with us. She never left us for a for a moment. I don't know why everyone's so sad about her. She's she's always she's always been here with us. Oh Kaide. Oh. Let's all work hard to escape this place together. And once we get out of here and make it to the outside world, why don't we all stay friends? That's right. Yes, we made a promise together. That's right. Our promise to work together and get out of here and become friends. I see. Now is the time to fulfill that promise. Hmm. I'll cheer for you guys. Why couldn't you? Why couldn't you guys fulfill it while she was alive? I told you. You need to do it too. That's right. That's exactly right. To keep the promise I made to Kaide. 
I will never give up. I can't give up. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna turn around and desert you. Na -na 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 -na. I've come this far. I have no choice but to believe. With the hammer that Miyu invented, I know we can do it. I have to believe it. If I keep repeating that to myself as I stepped into the tunnel. Please don't make me play the game again. No, no! Bro, I'm so bad at these kinds of games. Okay, we have to open the door. Damn it. Time to do my this best! This is it for me. Leave it to me, everyone. I miscalculated. Leave it to me. What? Damn it. How did he fall? What? I guess I'll go. Okay, we're gonna try that again. Okay, we, we're gonna. Okay, uh, um, do I have to keep? Wait, do I have to keep doing this until I pass? Wait, 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 wait. Are they gonna for? Wait, I have to keep go. No. All right, chat. Um, I hope you guys have water. I hope you guys have a blanket. I really hope you guys are sitting in a comfortable position because it's, we're going to be here for a while. We're already doing so much better. Damn it. Hello? This is it for me. Time to do my best. How do I get past here? No! How do I get past here? Let's go. Okay. Do it. Maki solos. Maki solos. <laughs> wow, it really was that easy, huh? That was the intended method. Just spam. Imagine that she would without the hammer. I think it's impossible without the hammer. 
Like, how, how the heck are you supposed to get through without the hammer? Like, the things are everywhere. It was so long. We thought there was no end. But there was an end indeed. And in the end, there was... <laughs> huh? Is this... the exit? That's right. It seems like it. Look there. When we finish the game, I'll go back. I'll look on YouTube uh, what it, the secret ending is. If you can get out with uh, doing the thingy. Did I just hiccup again? Wow, 1,000 hiccups. That's a lot of hiccups. Oh, it's a door on the other side of that door. It. It's probably the outside world. <laughs> we did it. We can escape. We can finally escape. No. Don't get your hopes up. We need to know if this is actually the outside world. Sorry. You're right. We don't know what the outside world looks like now. Huh. It's fine. Monokuma was probably just lying to us. The skies over the academy are normal, so the meteorites are probably gone. The way Kaito is so stupid. Um. Anyway, let's open that door. We'll have plenty of time to talk afterwards. Mm -hmm. That looks similar to the electro the electric barrier in front of the exosol hangar. Unless we disable uh, that, we won't be able to open the door. All right. Um. It all looks pretty fancy. Bro, imagine we have to write down the code. Could it be? Hmm? Passcode, does anyone know it? Yeah. Okay. Oh. All right. We can use the hammer. That's true. Finally, this death game is going to end. Yeah. Normal lives. Beyond this door is our normal, peaceful, boring lives. We'll be able to go home to those normal lives. The secret of the outside world couldn't be that awful, right? Let's go. It's finally time to graduate from the Academy of Lies. With that, Kaito swung the electro hammer and ah! smashed it down the, into the control panel. Oh. Oh? Lock disabled. Ah. Yay, the door's unlocked. Right. Now we just gotta open up this gate. Let's all work together. Yes. Right, right. This is too easy. We all ran to the door. And with our hands, and with our sh own strength, we opened the door. Our door to the future. A future of hope and despair. What's going on? Oh no. Oh no! I got an achievement. The truth is out there. What is this? What's going on? What is this? Ugh, I can't breathe! Oh my god, it's like the forest fires in Canada that brought smoke down to America. I... I can't breathe. What? The door is now locked. 
barely conscious conscious we heard a sound in our heads what what happened oh god <laughs> He's so ugly, bro. Hold on, I need I need to fix this. Oh my god, Kaide, you're back! Thank you so much for congratulating me for finishing the killing game. Oh my god, thank you. Love you, Queen. Missed you so much. Uh, I don't know, I feel like I heard Kokichi's voice. No idea where it came from. Uh, I'm so glad you're back. Love you. Okay. I'll put you back. I'll put I'll put you back. You can be nice, safely nuzzled on my shoulder. Kokichi. <laughs> hey. Are you okay? Get it together. It wouldn't be funny if you died here, you know. See, your lives are very precious to humanity. Huh? H humanity. <laughs> well then, the fun starts now. It's finally time to reveal everything. I shook my head, dizzy. The ground spun under me, but I managed to get on my feet. And at the same time... <laughs> what was that just now? What's going on on the other side of that door was... Damn. Where even are we? What in the world is going on? Hey. Good morning, everyone. How are you guys feeling? Terrible? <laughs> of course you guys are, because you now know the truth of the outside world. Huh? The truth of the outside world? <laughs> you saw it, right? The outside world you guys so desperately longed for doesn't exist. What are you talking about? What do you mean, it doesn't exist? Mm -hmm. Do you want to know? <laughs> then I'll tell you. I'm getting kind of bored with all the lying, so everything I say will now be the truth, okay? Okay. Everything began when that despair came falling from the sky. There was no way to avoid the numerous amount of meteorites raining down on Earth. The leaders of every nation realized that we could not escape the end of the world. Okay. Please, wait! Hold on. The end of the world? What are you talking about? Hmm. Jeez, you better not interrupt me again, or I'm not gonna tell you anything, got it? <laughs> but, um... Kibo, we should listen to what he has to say. <laughs> Continuing where we left off... The leaders of every nation wanted to prevent the extinction of the human race. So they decided to implement a plan. Oh, so kind of like a Noah's Ark situation? Project. A plan to place talented humans in a spaceship in order to help them escape the world's end. What? So that they may find another planet where they can preserve humankind. The Gover Project wasn't implemented to save the human race, but rather to salvage the Wait, human race. Wait, are we on Mars? Sixteen young and talented high schoolers were chosen for the Gopher Project. These Adams and Eves of the New World were known as the ultimate students. What? But the 16 students refused to partake in this plan. Well, it's obvious why they wouldn't. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, they chose 16 young people for, for the New World, okay? And you're telling me, these out of these 16 young people, all right? They needed a an assassin. They needed a literal siscon, a cosplayer, a magician. I can understand an astronaut. I understand an inventor. Yeah, a tennis pro. I understand ultimate maid because she does everything and like prime minister status. Why do they need a pianist? And a robot. Yeah, th th 
What? Surviving alone? And also, family and friends left behind. To also, die? you're telling me the world, the entire world is ending, and they only chose 16 Japanese students. You're telling me America wasn't like we need one of our own. You're you're you were telling me you the United States of America did not but they're like they did not butt in and we're like um w bring me an american kaide gives birth to superior children of course <laughs> maybe part four damn you're right america was stubborn <laughs> they, they sent them to a different planet <laughs> you know they would too that's the problem that's just hell right there so then the 16 students decided to flee from the project. Hello, Mimur. They erased their memories to forget their ultimate talents. To become... <laughs> but it was around that time a certain cult organization rose in power. Those who believed in the end of days were convinced humans deserved the meteorite's wrath. Wait. I just feel like this is still a lie because because how is Junko Enoshima involved? Because if there is Monokuma, there is Junko Enoshima right around the corner. Where is she? How is she involved in this? When they discovered the Gopher project, they plotted to sabotage the plan. That's when the ultimate hunt began. The ultimate hunt affected all society. Those influenced by it searched for the 16 students. As a countermeasure, the organization responsible for the Gopher Project spread misinformation ah. that all 16 students had died. Oh, Kaide, my love. Okay, so it was a fake funeral. All right, all right. Was that one of my theories? I can't remember. That was our memory of the funeral. God, Kaide is so pretty. I miss her. With this, they were able to quell the ultimate hunt, shelter the 16 students, and carry out the Gopher Project. The Ark's launch succeeded, despite the meteorites and the destruction of Earth. The 16 ultimate students were sent off into space as humanity's last survivors. I feel like this explanation falls apart with any level of scrutiny. I mean, yeah. Don't worry about it. How exciting! And the Ark is the true identity of this academy. Huh? The ultimate academy for gifted juveniles is actually a gigantic spaceship colony. But how? Th this whole academy is one giant spaceship colony? What are you saying? Well, how are they getting food? What? You really think I'd believe that? <laughs> Whoa, hold on now. This story isn't done yet. By the way, don't you think it's strange? Why do you think the killing game happened on the Ark, humanity's last hope? Which means... Actually, the organization behind the Gopher Project made one terrible oversight. Well, A horrible person hiding among the 16 chosen to be the last survivors of the human race. Huh? How exciting! Was the leader of the cult organization trying to crush the Gopher Project? They hid among the last survivors of the human race and prepared a robot on this ship. Yeah. Among us. And that robot is Monokuma. See? Originally, the 16 students uh, were placed in, into a state of cold sleep and were only supposed to be uh, only supposed to wake up once the ship found a suitable planet. But Monokuma manipulated the Ark and brought it back to the ruined Earth. Hmm. Though the 16 were supposed to wake up on a different planet, uh, they rose from their sleep. You know? And they're here now. Hold up. If we return to Earth, that means... What you guys just saw? That's Earth now. W what did you say? That's Earth after a few hundred years. While we were in cold sleep. And Earth... Destroyed by meteorites. I don't know if I believe this. Without oxygen or living creatures. An Earth without any cities. Or any people you knew. 
That is the truth of the outside world. Which means... There's no place for you bastards to go home to. That's why it's pointless to go outside. <laughs> the outside world doesn't exist anymore. What? Doesn't exist? Yeah. The Earth and humans have died out ages ago, except for the last 16 survivors of humanity. Ah. Well, last seven survivors of humanity. It's a lie. It's definitely a lie. Man. I already told you I wouldn't lie anymore. I'm tired of lying, you know? So that means... Anyway, I gotta confess. You know that cult I mentioned earlier? Yeah, the leader is me. Huh? Anyway... Which means... The mastermind who snuck Monokuma onto the Ark is... Sorry, uh, his face is really creepy. I, I just, I, I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like his face. His, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't appreciate how, how, how creepy his, his, his I, don't, I don't, I don't like it. I don't, I don't, I don't like his face. I, I, I need, I, I, I need the like, uh, I need the censoring, bro. <laughs> Another reason to hate Kokichi. I don't know if I believe him. Like, there's no way. They took this route. There's no way they took this route. But how? Okay, we're safe. We're safe. I can bring her back. Well, you know. I didn't just want to crush the Gopher project. I wanted to ruin it in the worst way possible. <laughs> so I came up with a plan. Let's have more fun. No! What? Sorry. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's all gotta be a lie. Uh. Oh, you want me to lie now? But you guys told me not to do that. <laughs> I'll show you the irrefutable evidence that I am the mastermind. Kokichi took uh, what looked like a remote control out of his pocket and fiddled with it. And a minute later... Exosols? What's going on? Huh? I thought only the monocubs could control the exosols. Well, I'm different. Since I'm the mastermind, I control everything in this school. <laughs> as long as I have the master remote control, all Exosols move on my command. What? Then... So you really are the mastermind? Don't tell me. You were always suspicious from the start, but for you to be the mastermind... Oh, man. You look like you don't believe me, Shuichi. I'm so disappointed in you. I even gave you a huge hint, but you still didn't get it. How boring. I was waiting with so much anticipation to see what you guys would figure it out. What is it? Hint? You left that message for this? Maybe. But I guess that precious hint went to waste because all you bastards trusted each other. Huh? Hmm. I told you, you guys should have doubted each other more. You guys could have realized I was the mastermind earlier and there could have been less victims. <laughs> Actually, Kaide had the right idea to try and kill the mastermind at the start. Kaide. They're really mentioning Kaide a lot this chapter. <laughs> Too bad though, if only she killed me, the killing game would have ended. Huh? <laughs> the truth is, uh, the truth is the killing. This is the truth to the killing game. Well, this turned out to be not so boring, right? Not anyone could have organized a killing game with the last 16 survivors of humanity, you know? Damn it. Are you saying it's the truth? We're just being led around by you this whole time? You mad? Yeah, me, you tried, bro. Of course I'm mad. Always messing around. Don't think you've won just because you've got the exosols on your side. Because we've got the electro hammers. What? Wow. Typical Kaito. I guess things aren't going your way. Lucky for me, you ran out of juice. What? At that moment, his electro hammer powered down, and not just Kaito's. 
Every electro hammer powered down at once. Well, you know. I told you, didn't I? The problem is that it runs out of battery pretty quickly. But... But that lasted longer than I calculated, so I was actually starting to get a bit nervous. You... My bad. Sorry, Kaito. Your tiny brain is just too different from mine. Please don't. Don't glare at me like that. Punching me won't solve anything either, you know? You can't resurrect the dead, and you can't turn Earth back to normal. Right? Always messing around. Even if that's the case. Don't screw around. I can't get over it if I don't punch you. Kaito. Kaito. I tried to stop, uh, stop Kaito before he ran off, but I couldn't grab him in time. Ah! <laughs> Jeez, your stupidity can't be cured unless you feel a bit of pain first. Stop it! Oh, Maki! Wait, the way she said that. But Maki's scream was in vain. Before our very eyes, Kaito charged at the Exosol and was smacked down. He hung limply from the Exosol's hand like a rag doll. Kaito! Don't worry, he's not dead. But now you know, right? There's no use defying me, the mastermind. <laughs> These Exosols were originally machines to protect I don't us. know, I just feel like Kokichi's not the mastermind. They were built to shield us from any danger that might pop up on other planets. But now I think it's hilarious how much they've become a threat to you guys. Oh? Um. How is her hair defying gravity? This is giving, um, this is giving Junko Enoshima. Give Kaito huh? Maki? Give it back. Give Kaito back. Her eyes screaming murder. Maki glared at Kokichi and moved towards him. Maki. Even if you, you wanna die. let go, do you want to die? Uh, it's no use. I won't let go. Even if you kill me, I can't let go. Please, Maki. Shuichi. Nice job, Mr. Ultimate Detective. That was a wise call. But... But your talent is useless now. The mystery of the killing game, the secret of the outside world, and the mastermind's identity... <laughs> they've all... They're all solved. We don't need a detective anymore. This is the true ending. Uh... No, it's not, because this is only chapter 5, and this game has 6 chapters. What did you say? If this is the ending, then what are we supposed to do now? If the world is destroyed, and we're the last human beings left... <laughs> what are we supposed to do from now on? Mm -hmm. How about doing anything you want? Mm -hmm. Well, you know... I know I started this whole thing, but I'm bored now, so sorry about that, guys. <laughs> That's why I wanted to reveal the truth. I wanted to see the utter despair on your faces. Yeah. Yuppers, I'm totally satisfied now, so you guys are free to do whatever you want. Wait... Hold on. You're the one who started all of this. That's so irresponsible. Yeah. You guys can commit suicide together or kill each other. Or you can change your mind and stay here. You're welcome to do that too. Thanks to the school's barrier, there's plenty of oxygen. <laughs> it is the Gopher Project's arc. It's supposed to be humanity's last hope. Mm, just feeling quirky and wanted to cause despair. Oh, but did you guys know? The sky on the other side of the barrier isn't real. That's just one of the arc's functions. Oh? It's meant to help us forget we're on a spaceship. So that means... The killing game is over. You guys can do whatever you please. Huh? I don't know what to do. You bastard. What do you plan to do with Kaito? Ah. I just wanted him to chill for a bit. Hot-blooded idiots like him are trouble. They do whatever they want without thinking about the consequences. If it's just him, I can deal. But if he gets all of you involved, then that's totally a hassle. Also, the killing game might start up again if I let him run around. 
So that means... Anyway, Shuichi, can I have the Exosol Hangers Alarm Remote back? Huh? See? I was thinking that that'd be the perfect place to keep Kaito in. Stop it. Don't give it to him, Shuichi. Shuichi! Hand it over, Shuichi. Oh, God. You bastard. Don't give it to him. Well, you know. You know what'll happen if you don't hand it over, right? This school is mine! I am the king! I, Kokichi Oma, am the mastermind and king of the ultimate academy for gifted juveniles! Yes! This world is mine! Sorry. Damn it, I wanted the choice. I couldn't meet Maki's eyes. I gave Kokichi what he wanted. <laughs> Thanks. Kokichi, evil yet innocent smile stayed on his face as he took the key. And then he simply left. He solved the entire mystery for us and left. He left us there with the truth, the truth of our despair. What? I... I don't know how I feel about this. I'm not... I don't know how I feel about this. Are you okay? How could I be okay? In the outside world, everything's destroyed. Everyone's dead. Uh, um... Oh god, Maki's mad at us. Uh, um... Maki! <sighs> Coward. Uh, okay. I know. But... I just... don't have the strength. I can't fight back. I can't do it. Aw, Shuichi! Which means... What would Kaide do? WWKD, what would Kaide do? I, I still don't think, uh... I, I still don't think Fukichi is the mastermind. I I know Junko Enoshima is involved. I know I guys I refuse to believe that she's not involved. Like I know Junko is involved in some way, shape, or form. This entire franchise is for her. Like she's somehow involved. I don't know how, but she is. Unfortunately. Why put the rem the remnants of humanity against each other for a world that no longer exists? <laughs> And, like, what does Rantaro have to do with everything? There has to be a reason. Uh, also, why uh, would they bring the ultimate cosplayer with them? That makes no sense. The whole truth was revealed. The conclusion. This is the end. There is no outside world. We're the only humans left alive. Trying to get outside was pointless. And we played the killing game for it. It was all meaningless. That's the conclusion. Nonsense. So what did all the others die for? <laughs> so this is the despair that Gonta felt. So much despair you want to die. It really is just like that. If this if it's like this, it would have been better if I died a lot earlier. <laughs> then it's all over now. That's true. This is the end of everything. Our story ends here. There will be no more death. No more killing game. It's all pointless. The truth is, we all should have died a long time ago. I don't even remember how I got back to my room. But before I knew it, I felt my body in the bed, numb. I didn't want to sleep. I just wanted to run away from the despair. But the sleep came anyway. Not the Titanic reference, bro. 
Did you know that when you call, when you talk to someone on the cell phone, you're not hearing their real voice? Their voice is converted to synthetic sound while you're both communicating. By breaking down their voice into various waveform patterns, the phone resembles those patterns to recreate characteristics of the speaker's voice. This reduces the amount of voice data that needs to be sent to make a, the, the call possible. Also, you know how shaved ice has flavored syrups such as strawberry, melon, and lemon? They're all the same flavors. The only difference is the aroma of the food coloring that... Wait. So wait, what you guys are hearing isn't actually my voice? I'm not in your ears right now? I'm not, I'm not in your ears talking right now? I'm just... I'm just waveforms? That, that's all I am? Is that all I am to you guys? Just waveforms in your ear? Do you think these are fa these are these facts are lies? Do you deny that these facts are lies? <laughs> what would the world be like if all lies were denied outright? I bet it would make it would be very lonesome world. Lies are what make the world go round. I thought it was the centripetal force of gravity that makes the world go round, but it's whatever. Monokuma must not be here anymore. There's no point to morning announcements now. So, it's really over. There's no point to this killing game anymore. Because there's no reason to go outside. There's no reason to keep living. There's no reason to live. 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 This is an epilogue. All that's left is to take up time. Actually, this is chapter 5. What a boring story. There's nothing I can do anymore. I wonder what everyone else is doing. What? What? I wonder what Kaito is doing. Uh, okay. That's right. I wonder if Kaito's okay. Is he? It's no use. My mind isn't working. And my body... is but a vision. If you're searching for the meaning of life, you're doing it wrong. Oh god, is this the uh uh what is it what is it? Uh the calling reference? Like here's Johnny. If you're searching for the meaning of life, you're already doing it wrong. Your life doesn't need a meaning, it just needs a purpose. In other words, you just need to do something to live for. You can live for spending time with loved ones or chasing dreams. You can live for eating delicious foods or playing games. Most people can get by as long as they have something to live for. The Shining. Oh, what I call it. If you say Danganronpa is your reason to live, I couldn't be happier. The Culling. Oh. <laughs> it's been a real pleasure doing business with you. How's that food not, like, going bad? It's morning. How long have I been like this? I should get up. Or I might not ever get up again. I... I don't care. If I just kill my... Huh? What? My body reacted reflexively, reflex, reflex, re re reflexively as I heard the doorbell. Oh. Somewhat surprised that I even managed to get out of bed, I went to the door. Uh, um. Who could it be? It's Maki! 
On my feet for the first time in a long while, I walked uneasily to the door. I slowly opened it and... I was right! <sighs> you look terrible. Uh, um... Oh my god, he looks terrible! Hey. Go take a shower or something. Anything to help with your face. I'll be in the dining hall with everyone else. Huh? Everyone? Okay. I'll be waiting, so hurry up. Maki spoke curtly and left. Everyone is waiting in the dining hall? Uh, um... I guess I should go. I hurried and took a hot shower, then left my room. I wonder if my, like, footsteps are gonna be more wobbly. Nope. Same as always. Okay. If this is supposed to be, like, humanity's last, like, chance... Why would they make a school? I feel like... They should have made... Anything else. I don't know. Just a neighborhood. And, like... But, like, a school? They, like, the kids grow up. Kids grow up. Like, I, I don't know. I, I feel like they should have just, they should have made something else. Like, I don't know, like a mall? A resort? Not like a school. Yeah, and why they put barbed wire on the window? Yeah, it makes no sense. Because the universe is still obsessed with Hope's Peak. Yeah, but they have a, yeah, they have a sex hotel and a gambling, like, yeah, and a casino. Was that really necessary for the future of humanity? Everyone was in the dining hall besides Kokichi and Kaito. But mentally, they weren't really there. The life had gone out of their eyes. <sighs> Everyone here looks terrible. <sighs> really? Even I look terrible? Well, your face always looks like that. What are we talking about? We're discussing how we want to die, right? Huh? <laughs> what? I want to go without suffering. Maki, can you do something about that? Thank you. Okay. Sure, but before that, take a look at this. Oh. Is that a flashback light? <laughs> the way Maki said, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, Maki, why do you have that? I see. It was on top of the table when I went to the dining hall this morning. Huh? It was just sitting there? <laughs> Kichi probably put it there. Well then. To confirm the truth, perhaps. If we use that flashback light, we might recover memories that corrob corroborate the story. <sighs> so we're supposed to use the flashback light to confirm the truth Kokichi told us? We don't need to confirm anything. We saw the outside world for ourselves. Hey. Do you want to die comfortably? I can help you, but... We should check this flashback light first. Huh? Maki's like... Y'all, you're depressed? Okay, and... I've been depressed. I can, I can work with it. Because... It's the only thing we can do right now. If we're going to die, then we might as well do anything we can. We'll have no regrets that way. That's right. And even if it's dangerous, it wouldn't matter anymore, right? Either way, there's nothing for us to lose. We don't have any hope left. Well... So let's just do what we can. <sighs> okay, things won't end up any worse than they already are. <sighs> so when you kill me, will it be like I'm falling asleep? It's decided. <laughs> Kibo, Shuichi, are you fine with that? <sighs> Very well then. Uh, okay. And thus, it was decided. Fairly painlessly. A flashback light suddenly appeared. Nothing could be more obvious and suspicious. But because our spirits were already broken, we had nothing to lose anyway. I think they're gonna get a memory that completely contradicts what Kokichi said. Hey. I, I feel like it's gonna completely contradict everything. Maki switched on the flashlight. 
And at that moment, the world flipped upside down, turned inside out. They really do show Shuichi's cake every time, huh? Th that's it! I remember! Everything is connected! And we have forgotten. We had forgotten that everything is connected! Oh yeah! It all started at that- Oh, it's a Danganronpa theme, bro! No, it's the Danganronpa theme! They're really- oh, Let me turn it up a little bit. It all started at that academy. A government-backed school that nurtured the most talented students in various subjects. Hope's Peak Academy. Our first time hearing the academy's name since the beginning of this game. I Oh, how I've missed you so. And the event that tore that school apart. No, no, don't make me say it. Don't make me say it. Please. Do not make me say the words again. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. <laughs> they made me say it again. They really made me say that again. <laughs> Are you shitting me? The amount of times I said that, like that exact phrase in Danganronpa 2 is like criminal. Ooh, this edit of the song, though. It triggered a wave of terrorism and war across the world. Humanity's true despair. Half the world was destroyed as a result of the terrible violence. And that tragedy was caused by a single high school girl. Our girly pop. Junko Enoshima. The ultimate despair. Our queen! Let's go, Junko and Oshima! Yeah, ours. Our best girl. We love Junko here. She used whatever means necessary to paint the world in despair. God, who would win? The world, one high school girl. The killing game of the 78th class of Hope Speak Academy was the same way. Okay, so this takes place after. Okay, so my theory was wrong that it was like a pre-game. Trapped by the ultimate despair, forced into a killing game. Ah, oh, she's so cute. But after Junko and Oshima died, the case was closed and the world began to slowly recover. But Junko's disciples, the remnant of despair, weren't done sowing chaos. The Future Foundation fought against them, trying to restore order. The war between hope and despair grew more and more extreme. And the fight raged on, but came to a sudden end. And right then, it was from then on that we remembered. It was the beginning of our truth. One day, terrible despair suddenly rained from the sky. A countless number of meteorites fell upon the world, carrying in an unknown virus. COVID? Emboldened by the overwhelming despair, the remnants cried, Humanity deserves damnation! The Future Foundation was overwhelmed by the renewed despair and quickly lost influence. But then... Makoto Naegi, together with the former members of the Future Foundation, started the Gopher Project at Hope's Peak Academy. Only genius can overcome nature, and only hope can overcome despair. Our young geniuses must escape this earth to become the seeds of the future. That is the only hope for humanity. With those principles, the Gopher Project began the 16 Hope's Peak students and 16 Hope's Peak students were selected. OK, 
Okay, so they actually were ultimates. That's it. We weren't all attending different high schools. We were all attending the rebuilt Hope Speak Academy. We were the students that applied after learning Hope's Peak was rebuilt. And the new Pokes he Pokes oh, Pokes Peak. Hope's Peak was like the last in that it accepted applications from talented students and cultivated ultimate talents. Hope's Peak Academy was a large school, so we were all in separate classes. But we were all students of Hope's Peak Academy. Guys, let me live. From the candidates, the 16 of us were selected for the Gopher Project because... No, we weren't selected. We were the only ones left. The mysterious virus from the meteorites had spread rapidly around the world. The entire world was on the brink of extinction. Hope had almost triumphed, but cruel despair came roaring back to overtake the world. I love how Junko died and then sent a literal meteor shower to Earth. Genuinely, girl boss queen. You do you. She she really she showed Earth that that she she is the ultimate despair. And that in death, she can simply start an entire world virus. But we just happen to be immune to the virus. That was the reason we were chosen for the Gopher Project. Yeah, this came out in 2017. It's before COVID. I saw Mekon for a second, bro. That world, this world, it's all connected. That's it. Everyone, did you all remember? Yes. I can vividly recall everything now. I guess. Yeah, why? How could we forget something so important? Yeah. We were students of Hope's Peak Academy. Mm. We were the symbols of hope entrusted with the survival of humanity. Okay. Except for one person. That punk. Kichi Oma, the mastermind behind this killing game. His organization's real identity. They were the remnants of despair. That looks That's shit. right. The cult organization out to destroy the Gopher Project. If Kokichi is the leader, that means he controls the remnants of despair. But wait, the remnants of despair got, you know, like, they got reformed. Out of all of us, he is the closest to the ultimate despair. Don't put him on the same level as Junko and Oshima. Hmm. It's so obvious, a killing game like this can only be done by the remnants of despair. But then what is class trial? Oh, Kaide. Students of Hope's Peak Academy. It's all just like Junko and Oshima's killing game. Only someone who worships the ultimate despair would replicate that killing game. Which means. Hmm. That this killing game is just like the one that came before. It's a battle between hope and despair. A killing game that m mirrors Myers? hope in a dark despair. Got a minute? Wait, hold on. If this was such an important killing game, then why did Kokichi abandon it? <sighs> well, th that's also something that the something the remnants of despair would do. They admire Junko and Oshima, right? He made an elaborate plan to cause us to despair, but he got bored of that plan. Jeez. Wanting to feel the despair of your plan being ruined, that's the ultimate despair for you. Hey! What's wrong, Maki? So what? I'm just not convinced. It's okay. It's probably fine, though. It's not a big deal. Uh, okay. But... Okay. I still don't think Kokichi's the ultimate mastermind behind this, but... It would make sense why Monokuma has a different voice. Since it'd be Kokichi controlling it and not Junko. <sighs> Even if we get out of this academy, the outside world is still destroyed. There's no hope left for us. Everyone! No, we just need to become that hope. What's wrong? What's with you all of a sudden? If I must. If all hope is lost, then it's up to us to become that hope. Wait, I have a question. 
why? Okay, so like when they opened the door and everyone was like dying, like to the outside world, why was Kibo also dying? He doesn't need to breathe. He's a robot. Can't he go outside like no problem? Yeah, I think Okichi's just a follower. I still want to understand what Rantaro has to do with everything. <laughs> we don't know how that man works. <laughs> they didn't show him dying, but he was also like passed out. They all like passed out for a second. That's robophobic. That's science. After all, we're students of Hope's Peak Academy, aren't we? We're all that's left of the 16 who survived the battle between hope and despair. Listen closely. If we give up now, everyone who fought on the side of hope will have fought for nothing. That's true. Fought for nothing? That's what my inner voice is telling me. That no matter what, I cannot abandon hope. I cannot give up. Yes, that's what it's urging me to do. Leave it to me. So I will not despair. Even if it's only a little, I will move forward with hope. Aw, Kibo. Okay, listen closely. Right now, there is no use in thinking about whether our lives have meaning or not. Because as long as we're alive, we still have the power to decide that meaning for ourselves. That's what I believe hope that's I what see. I believe hope is. We're all students of the new Hope's Peak Academy, rebuilt as the symbol of hope. Yeah. If we, the students of Hope's Peak Academy, give up. The world really will plunge into despair. You're right. I got it. In the end, it's all about willpower. I'm going to live till the end and never give up. <sighs> we won't be able to do anything in that destroyed world. Great, huh? But making the impossible possible is what magic is about. Hmm. It's a pain, but it'll be worth it. I'll live. I'll live a hundred million more years. You're right. Aw. All right. Let's fight together against despair. Yes. As long as we stand together, without giving in to despair, we will find a new hope. Aww. We felt the power of hope coursing through us, driving our bodies. The hope born in this academy, the tree of life with roots deep down. It was supporting each and every one of us. Motivation is rushing through my entire body. <laughs> this is the power of hope. Uh... With a laugh like that, you sound less like a mage and more like a wicked witch. <laughs> Kokichi may have left that flashback late to make us give up. But if that was his plan, it failed. It's true. It does seem as though Kokichi's plan went wrong somewhere. The only person who can give us the flashback lights is Kokichi. Hey. Uh, so what's our plan now? What are we gonna do about Kokichi? That's right. We gotta stop you-know-who, the remnant of despair, or the despair will never end. Okay. We have to save Kaito, too. You're right! You're right. He's so stupidly positive. He's just the kind of guy we need at a time like that. That's this. right. With Kaito by our side encouraging us, then even if we are the only people left, I think we can still find a new hope. Okay. Listen. I'm a little offended that they're still thinking Kaito is, like, the leader when Shuichi has done everything. I just feel like they're not giving my boy Shuichi enough credit for what he's doing. Because Kaito has done negative three things. And Shuichi has done positive 20 things at, like, a bare minimum. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, no, it's not. I knew that. Even in a situation like this, he'd think of something. Uh... The problem is, where are Ko Kokichi and Kaito? It's okay. They're in the Exosol hangar. Huh? Both of them? Kokichi did say that Kaito would be trapped in there, but. Okay. By chance, I happened to see Kokichi leaving the hangar during nighttime yesterday. What? Right, right? I bet the truth is, you are worried about Kaito and are watching the hangar all day. Looks like that was the case. So what? It's not like I was worried about Kaito or anything. I just had nothing else to do. Also, I'm used to watching others, so it wasn't any trouble. It's important for assassins to watch their targets and think of ways to kill them. Stop it. Stop it. We were getting mushy, but you had to make it all bloody instead. 
We know they're in the Exosol hangar, but how do we get them out? By the way, it has an alarm system that will go off if anyone approaches the shutter. On top of that, Kokichi has an alarm remote key to shut off that alarm system. There's also an electric barrier, right? You need to do something about that too. Yes. But even approaching the control panel will set off the alarm. So many problems right from the start. What should we do? It's okay. It'll be fine. I think I know how to stop the alarm system and the electric barrier. Does she have an idea? Uh, um... Okay. Oh, that's actually a pretty good idea. Well... If you hit the control panel with it, it should disable the electric barrier. We did the same thing with the electric lock, electronic lock to exit the outside world. But... But wouldn't it, uh, it wouldn't work the same way on the alarm system, will it? The alarm will go off before we can even get close enough to the electro hammer. To use the electro true. hammer. Oh. oh, she got one of the bombs. <laughs> yeah, 50 yards for two hours. That means Kibo can't do anything, though. I thought there was only three of them, and I thought Kokichi had them. <laughs> I stole it from his pocket. Ah, when she choked him out. Okay. Gosh, she's so smart. Yeah. As expected, your kleptomania and terrifying glare are both first class. <laughs> the terrifying gla glare part was a joke. Can you stop glaring at me so terrifyingly? Thank you very much. Nice work, Maki. We can use that electro bomb to get inside the hangar. No. Not only that, it will dis uh, disable all communication. Okay. It should include the remote control Kokichi, Kokichi uses for the exosols. 100%. If you use the electro bomb in front of the shutter, it should affect the entire hangar. <laughs> then Kokichi will be good as buck naked. All he'll be able to do is hold his crotch and run. No. He might be able to still uh, he might still be able to control an exosol from inside. Oh my. But naked? No. I'm pretty sure he'll still be clothed. I see. Then we should bring him the electro hammers as a precaution be against the exosols. <sighs> Dang, I just left mine sitting around without charging Sorry. it. Oh, I did too. Hmm. It takes 24 hours to charge an electro hammer, so we'll have to wait until tomorrow morning. Huh? We gotta wait until tomorrow morning? What about the hangar? Uh... Well, we don't have a choice, do we? Without electro hammers, it's impossible. Remember. Maki, I don't... I know you don't want to wait a single minute more than necessary, but we shouldn't try this until tomorrow when everyone is ready. That's true. Fine. That's what we'll do then. This time, we'll definitely kill him. Wait! No, Maki, you can't. Even if he's a remnant of despair, that doesn't... That punk. But if we kill him, then everything will end. We don't have a choice. For that reason, I will kill him. No. But you can't. You're right. I understand how you feel, Maki. But we feel bad after we kill him. No, you won't. Don't. It would be no different than the killing game that has caused us all so much suffering. Yeah. That's the sort of thing the remnants of despair or Akira would do. Okay. Wait, did, did she just make... Did, did she just make a Death Note reference? In... In the Lord's Year of 2023, she made a Death Note reference? Hello? Ma'am? What would Kira do in this situation, man? Our life would be like... It'd be, it'd be so much easier, bro. I knew it. So we can't. Okay, okay. Fine, if everyone thinks that way, then I'll listen to you guys. Well... But it seems like anything dangerous is going to happen. That if, if it seems like anything dangerous is going to happen, then I'll definitely kill him. Oh. Wow, Maki's actually reliable. No. no, she's dangerous. Something more dangerous than a heated Maki roll. <sighs> if a Maki roll gets too heated, it could burn your tongue. Did, did, did you see those eyes? They were like a predator looking at its prey. Well, I may have deserved that, Himiko. 
I like that Himiko turned into comic relief after Miu died. I didn't think we'd be able to stand together as one again. And it's thanks to Maki. While we were sed sedentary, feeling sorry for ourselves, she was planning. I suppose it might also be thanks to Kaito. Because Kaito was worried about her and promised to work hard. Okay, whatever. Of course, if I pointed that out, she'd ask me if I wanted to die again. Got a minute? What are you? What are you looking at? Sorry. Hey, let's do our best. Then the three of us can train together again. Uh, okay. We finalized our plan to get into the Exosol hangar tomorrow morning. Until then, we would wait for the Electro Hammers to recharge and finish preparations. We split up. Fo Are they gonna make me do free time again? There's no way, right? There's no way. All right. Nice job, Mr. Ultimate Detective. That was a wise call, Shuichi. But your talent is useless now. Well, we could still go find out Rantaro's thing. All right. Bum, bum. Uh, oh. Okay, it's not free time. Where am I going? Oh, they just want me to go there right now? But I really wanted to go... I really wanted to go to... I want to go here. I want to see what was up with Rantaro's place. We're just gonna go like scout right now. Wait, do I have to be sneaky? Do I have to be sneaky? Huh? Huh? M Monokuma? This is the first time I've seen him in a while. Are the Exosols protecting him? But why? And why all four of them? Kokichi's controlling them, right? So why would he do that? Wait, if the Exosols are here... They aren't guarding the hangar. This is my chance. I should hurry, but carefully. I don't want to draw attention. The alarm is enabled. The electric barrier's up too. I can't get close to the shutter. And I only saw four exosols. I don't know where the other one is. Perhaps inside the hangar? Hmm. Hopefully I can find a good spot and survey the scene. If I remember correctly, there's a bathroom with a small window there. Where's the small bathroom? Wait, where's the small bathroom? Oh. Ah, oh, there's a window. The bathroom window? I peek into the small window and saw the silhouette on the other side. <sighs> What are you doing here? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Sorry, I'm just like imagining Kaito's going to take a piss. And he's just like, la da 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 da. And then he just sees Shuichi, like right there. I would scream. I would. No, you guys, I would literally scream. Like, you don't understand. Kaito! Don't shout, stupid. Kokichi will hear us. Uh, is he close by? No. I'm locked up in this bathroom, but Kokichi's just outside that door. It'll be bad news if he sees you here. He's got the Exosols with him. 
Yeah, that's true. Wait, so what are you doing here? What am I doing here? Saving you, of course. What? By yourself? <laughs> I love how they're just having this conversation. No, I'm just scouting the place. Tomorrow morning, we're all coming to rescue you. All of you? It was Maki's idea. Honestly, I... I had given up. Yeah, Kaito. Imagine given giving credit where credit's due. And not just taking other people's hard work as your own credit. But not Maki. She did everything she could to get you back. Just saying. It's because she believes in you, Kaito. She knows that you would never give up. No matter how bad things got. Y yeah of course I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Even if the world has ended and humanity has gone extinct, I can't give up. It'd be a crappy story if the hero gave up so easily. Yeah, that's right, Kaito. Don't you worry. I'll do something about all this. That's a promise. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. Hmm. There's something I want to ask him. I don't care if he's overconfident or acting. I just want to hear him say, don't worry, it'll be okay. It's just, I'm happy you guys want to save me, but stay safe, okay? Getting close to an Exosol is dangerous, even if you've got an Electro Hammer. Got it. Uh, by the way, are you feeling okay? Apart from the injury, obviously. Who, me? Yeah, of course. That's nothing. Mm. Anyway, Kokichi should be back soon, so we better end our chat. Ah, okay, sure. And hey, Kaito. About what happened with Gonta. Shuichi, I leave the rest to you. What? I mean, I was never going to apologize, so thank you for stopping him before he could apologize. While I'm gone, you got to support everyone, especially Maki Roll. She can be reckless sometimes. Yeah. You're an impressive detective, through and through. You might not only reach the truth, but something even beyond it. And don't forget, you're not alone. Don't try to do everything yourself. It's only going to wear you out. When times are hard, you got to rely on your friends. Well, last time we tried to rely on friends, you were being stubborn. That's it. That's what I've been neglecting. I believe in you. Yeah, something's really so off about Kaito. You, for now. you got it, Shuichi. This is like a parting speech before you die. This... Kaito's dying. Yes. I understand. Kaito's dying. All right. Now, get going before Kokichi comes back. You're right. See you tomorrow, Kaito. Oh, he's dying. Oh, he's dying. See you tomorrow. He is dead. That boy is deader than dead. After leaving Kaito with a smile, I returned to my room. Hmm. It became nighttime before I knew it. God, that's so creepy. Uh, um. We go at dawn. I won't hesitate anymore. Kaito had taught me. All right. I have to do it to live, to find a reason to live. I will fight. I spent that night with that thought nest nestled deep into my heart. Don't panic. Just stay calm and listen. Well, if you're watching this Monokuma Theater segment, it's already too late. You kids might not know, but to a 100% cotton mascot like me, hope is... Well, the thought of seeing young people brimming with hope, killing each other just to survive, watching their hope fade away, there's nothing more in despair inducing than that. My dear students, Carrying humanity's hope, betraying, deceiving, and killing each other. It makes me oh so sad. But, oh, sorry, shit. Oh, how I long to see everyone's despairing faces soaked in blood and tears. I've gone and done it. After that empty announcement from Monokuma, I All jumped right. out of bed.
I grabbed the charged electro hammer and ran out of the room. Oh, I didn't even notice the hammer was there. It's time to go see Kaito's dead body because there's no way that boy is making it out of here alive. And there's no way he's making it out of here alive. I'm sorry. He is, he's raised so many death flags, bro. New world order. Everyone! Is everyone ready? Yeah. Of course, my electro hammer is all recharged. At that moment, I realized one of us didn't have their electro hammer. Maki? Hmm. Maki, where's your hammer? Nope. I don't need it. I'd rather not use a weapon I'm unfamiliar with. Okay. This is much better. Okay, Maki. Uh, um... A knife? Well, I suppose you know best. Hey! Then, we're off. Hey! Before that, there's something I want to say. I scouted out the hangar yesterday. Huh? You scouted out the hangar? Uh, okay. Y yes, and I discovered that Kaito was trapped in the hangar's bathroom. I see. The bathroom, I see. That certainly is the best place to lock someone up. If I remember correctly. And I also saw... Hmm. Monokuma by the, ha uh, the hangar being protected by four exosols. Is that all right? So we'll have to be careful that we aren't spotted. <gasps> oh, I saw that too. Uh -huh. huh? You saw that? Were you at the hangar too, Kibo? Yes. Yes, I thought maybe I could get through to Kokichi before we carried out our plan. So I went to the hangar last night and tried to talk to him. What? You tried to talk to him on your own? Well. I'm sorry. I thought it would be, pre be preferable for him to release Kaito peacefully. Hey! How did it go? As I thought. There was no response at all. But... I did witness a few things. Mm -hmm. What? What did you witness? Well... We can discuss that later. Or you could tell us now. For now... Shuichi saw four exosols that appeared to be guarding Monokuma. I saw one of them enter the hangar. No. J just one? Yes. The green exosol. If I remember correctly... The green one. I'm sure I saw that one guarding Monokuma. <laughs> I... I made sure to stay out of sight while I watched. Neither the alarm system nor the electric barrier reacted to the exosol's presence. Could it be? Does that mean the alarm system doesn't work on exosols? That's right. Considering it's where the exosols are stored, that would appear to be a safe assumption. Hmm. Anyway, there are two exosols in the hangar. We should be careful. We only have one chance. Okay. This is our only electro bomb. We can't afford to miss. You're right. Hmm. Well then, we're off for real this time. Everyone. We must end this killing game once and for all, no matter what. Energized and motivated, the group rushed out of the dining hall one after the other. All right. Here I go. All right, it's time. I still want to see what's in Rantaro's room, though. I want to know what ultimate he was. I'm zooming. I'm zooming. Bum bum bada bum. Bum bum bada bum. Bum bum bada bum. The ultimate whatever, okay? <laughs> Everything... Everyone must have gone to the hangar already. I shouldn't be late. I don't hear the exosols, though. Oh, they're hmm. not... Huh. Monokuma's not here. He should have been protected by the exosols. And the exosols... They don't look like they're going to move. What's going on? And there's only three of them. There should be two more in the hangar. That's true. 
Just like Kibo said, we, could, we should consider ourselves lucky that there's only two. If all five of them are here, it'd be impossible to execute the plan. All right. So there is the pink, the blue, and the yellow are there. So green and red are what's left. Well then. Everyone's here. Let's get started right away. Hmm. I'm ready. Are you okay? Maki, are you ready with the electro bombs? Hey. Who do you think you're talking to? It's similar to a grenade, except the detonation lags a bit after you push the switch. Once we roll this to the front of the shutter, it should disable That's the alarm obvious. system. This won't fail. Hmm. If Kokichi's remote is disabled, we'll stand a chance against the right. exosols. Yeah. But is it? Like, Kibo gonna stop too? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's wrong, Maki? We're all, we're all ready to start, you That's know? True. Let's go. Maki triggered the electro bomb, then rolled it in front of the shutter. And then. One hundred percent. The alarm system is disabled. Now we can approach the Shuichi. control panel. Will you do Leave the honors? Me. All right. Huh? Oh. The control panel panel was covered in marks, as if damaged by something sharp. What are you trying to pull? Okay. Huh. Huh. That's weird. Oh my. Everyone. All right. Yeah. All right. Huh. After opening the shutter, we burst into the hangar, electro hammers in hand. <laughs> to end this. To end this killing game. To end this despair. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, who's dead? Which one is it? Oh no! What? Wait, wait, that was Kaito's jacket! Wait, that was Kaito's jacket! Bro, all I want is for Kokichi to die. All I want is for freaking Kokichi to die! Why can't Kokichi die? We didn't see Ka No, no, we didn't see Kaito. That's okay, that, we, don't, we don't see the body, we just see blood. But we don't see a body. What? <laughs> oh no! A body has been discovered! Everyone, please gather at the Exosol hangar! And if Monokuma's still around, that means Shuichi was lying about controlling Monokuma. <laughs> the killing game just keeps going and going! The despair is not over yet! Bro. Listen. 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 I really hope it's Who's the death though? Is it is it Kaito what or is, is it Kokichi? What's going on? This music? Chaos and madness. Confusion and turmoil. I couldn't stay calm. I couldn't keep it in. It was too much despair. Oh, there's a trail. Yeah. What's... What is that blood? It can't be. The body discovery announcement. Does that mean... Someone's in that press? What? Uh, who? 
The only ones in the hangar were Kokichi and Kaito. It must be one of them. Huh? Please be Kokichi. Please be Kokichi. Please be Kokichi. Please be Kokichi. Please. All I've wanted. All I've wanted since I started this game was for Kokichi to die. I knew me. Literally, all I've wanted was for Kokichi to die. Like, I, it's been like three months. Please. Either Kokichi or Kaito is dead? Oh. Oh, look! What are you pointing at, Kibo? You're a 2D character. Huh? Those clothes! Wow! They're Kaito's. What did you say? Then the one in the hydraulic press is. Oh no. No, it's too obvious. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> it's too obvious if it's Kaito. Because, like, this is such a red herring. Okay, guys, listen, listen, listen. We're about to metagame for a second. The most obvious answer is never the right answer. So, unless it was in... That, unless it was, like, Chapter 3's death or murderer. That was, like, kind of obvious. But for this one... I don't... It's okay. It's either Kaito's dead and Kokichi's the murderer. Or Kokichi is dead and Kaito's the murderer. Those are the only two options. And the fact that they're showing Kaito's jacket makes me believe it is not Kaito who is dead, but it is in fact Kokichi that is dead, and then Kaito killed him. I don't think we're getting another suicide. Uh, it's past Long Rumpa Game, Chapter 5, all suicide? Shit. Shit. You're right. Chapter 5s are usually suicide. No! No! Chapter 5 is usually. No, no. Chapter 4 is usually the suicide. Normally, Chapter 4s are suicides. Chapter 3s are double kills. Uh. But yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. I remembered. I remembered. It's been a minute, okay? Um. So I, I still think. I still think. I think it's. I, okay, I think Kokichi's dead. Finally. Finally. He's gone. Finally. <sighs> There's only one suicide in Danganronpa? Yeah. I thought there was going to be a second one in this game, but they did not go through that route. <laughs> oh god, he's back. He's back. Also, um, e uh, is it Evelto? Thank you so much for the Prime Sub Gamer. Thank you. <laughs> Looks like you have lots of twists and turns to sort out during the class trial. Extreme! That's what the killing game's all about, after all. And so, I will now pass out the Monokuma file. That's nice. Don't say you're getting bored of this, because things are about to get interesting. Now then. I hope you pour your heart and soul into this investigation, too. <laughs> if Kokichi died, then does that mean Junko is still around? <laughs> I hope our queen Junko is still around, bro. I'm still... Okay, you guys. Listen. I don't want to sound like a simp. But. But. What if. You guys. What if. Kaide is still alive. Huh? 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 You guys. Just putting that out there. What if there's a possibility. That this is all a simulation. And they pull a Danganronpa 2. And Kaide is still alive. <laughs> you guys. Please. We watched her get hung. Okay, and? Number two, they all lived. Except for Chiaki. But everyone lived. So Kaide's Junko. That was actually one of my initial theories. That Kaide was actually Junko. I did have that theory from the very beginning. Just saying. If it ends up true, I'll scream. But I, I have... It's on record that I said Kaide could possibly be Junko. If you want to play a uh, female MC, play Ultra Despair Girls. I will. I'll, I'll play Ultra Despair Girls when I finish uh, this game, though. Good agree, but then Monokuma judged it as murder, so it doesn't count as one in Danganronpa rules. No, because on Danganronpa... Oh, oh you talk about Nagito's. I thought you were going to talk about Sakura's death. It counted as murder because he used his ultimate lucky student status to incriminate Chiaki, even though Chiaki did nothing wrong. 
Kaede equals Junko because blonde. The blonde bias is forever real. You guys, hold on. Um, our baby angel. Our baby angel, Kaede, who is always here. Always here ready for my uh, my own um, support because I love her and I just need her around me because I miss her so badly, you guys. I had her for one chapter and like, I, I'm so attached to a character we had for so little time and no character has come close to how I feel about Kaede. Guys, I bought, I bought a freaking print of her. Junko just had to put some purple contacts and redo her hair. I think doesn't Junko have purple eyes? Or or am I am I remembering or am I misremembering? Why that expression? What me? She's smiling. Her eyes are red. Well, red is just a shade of pink. Why one print? Because I wasn't buying a lot of prints. They're like blue so wait, wait, is it red or is it blue silver, you guys? Isn't that chapter one trial expression? I don't know, man. I just typed in Kaide PNG. Wait, Junko doesn't have blue eyes. Blue, gray, silver. Red eyes, blue lenses. Okay. The killing game will continue? <laughs> if the killing game is continuing and Monokuma is still moving, then... That's right. It means the mastermind, Kokichi, is still alive. <sighs> what was that? If Kokichi is still alive, then that means the one dead over there is... <sighs> Kaito? That's wrong. No, that's not possible. There has to be some mistake. Sayaka and Kaede both died in the first chapter, but one is loved and the other is forever forgotten. Well, there's a difference between Sayaka and Kaede fundamentally, where Sayaka was the first kill and Kaede was the main character, where we got to see her inner motivations. We got to move around with her. We got to literally hear her thought process. And then throughout the trial, you slowly realize that she was actually the murderer. So you at least got through a trial with her and then you go through the tragedy of constantly like battling with yourself of like needing to incriminate her to continue the game and then not wanting to incriminate her because she's perfect and could do nothing wrong. You expected me to say something different for Kaede? Oh, what, that she's blonde. Also, Saika tried to frame my boy Makoto. Listen, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. <laughs> Gaslight, girl keep. This last one? Gatekeep. Gaslight, girl boss, gatekeep. Kaede was a bad bitch who took matters into her own hands. Exactly. Girl keep, gate boss. Guys, let me live, please. Let me live. There's no way Kaito could die. It has to be a lie. I made a run for the body when... Uh -huh. Calm down. Maki's hand stopped me. Huh? Calm down? How can you say that, Maki? Kaito is... <sighs> I've seen so much death already. Death of both good and bad people. It doesn't bother me anymore. Wait! It doesn't bother you? What are you talking about? Shut up. More importantly, where's Kokichi? Why? That's right. We don't see him anywhere. He should be somewhere in this hangar. Right? He ran away. We need to catch him immediately. He's obviously the culprit. Indeed. Let's split up and look for him. There's, leave no stone unturned. Why do you? No matter how good at hide and seek he is, we can't let him get away. No. Wait. We can't leave yet. Uh, okay. We don't know for certain if that, if that dead body is Kaito. We haven't explored all the possibilities yet. What? If it's not Kaito, then who's dead in there? Are you saying it's Kokichi? Then why is the killing game still continuing? Why? And if Kaito is alive, why hasn't he shown himself yet? <sighs> Are you saying he's hiding because he's the culprit? Stop it. 
Don't say such a stupid thing. Kaito being the culprit is even more impossible than him being dead. That's impossible! I don't think Kaito could have killed Kokichi in the first place. He was wounded, remember? Actually... And his opponent, the mastermind of the killing game, could control the Exosols at will. How could Kaito have killed someone like that when he was sick and wounded? No. I don't know. I just... I'm just saying it's possible. Ah, uh, and even if it was... If it is Kakichi that was killed, that doesn't mean Kaito was the culprit. But how? So does that mean the culprit is one of us? Stop it! Wait, that's impossible! Right. No matter how shocking Kaito's death is, saying that we're suspects is going too far. I understand what they mean. The initial evidence suggests Kaito was dead. But I just can't believe that. Or perhaps I just don't want to. I can't believe Kaito was dead. Um, let's investigate. We need to find the truth here with our own hands and reveal that truth in the trial. Don't tell me. So you want to continue the killing game? Because... The class trial will be held either way. We should investigate. I don't know if we'll find hope or despair, but we have to find the truth. It all starts there. Okay, I don't want to be flashback stuff. That's right. I have to do this. To keep my promise to Kaito. I understand. You're right. If the class trial is going to happen anyway, then we should investigate. <laughs> But we already know the answer. But... But we can't die here. We decided to live for hope. But... My main concern is how Kokichi will react. If we accuse him of being the culprit. <sighs> if he plays dumb and runs away, there'll be nothing we can do. Oh my god, what? Junko. Oh my god, oh my god. We're just getting... We're just getting a Junko CG right now? In... In the holy year of 2023? Which game is this? Is this from the first game? Is is this is this a game one CG? Like I don't I don't recall this. God, I love her. Is this when she killed herself in uh, the anime? Probably when she clicked her own button. Yeah, she's a stickler for the rules. I don't think so. Junko and Oshima cherish the killing game rules. So the remnants of despair worshipped her. I don't think they'd ignore those. Then... It'll be easy to deal with him. We just need to vote for him in the class trial. <laughs> That's true. I understand the others, but why Maki? Why is she accepting Kaito's death so easily? Well then... Let's review the Monokuma file. Is that okay with you, Shuichi? Uh, okay. Oh. Oh. They're not gonna confirm the body. Oh, they're not confirming the victim. They're, they're really doing this. The body was discovered in the Exosol hangar. The victim was crushed by the hydraulic press and is un unidentifiable. God, this music. It's called Sing the Empty Truth. That's it? That doesn't tell us anything. The identity of the victim is unknown. It doesn't even tell us that much. I don't care. It doesn't matter. We already know who the victim and the culprit are. It's decided. The culprit who killed Kaito is definitely Kokichi. No. Wait, Maki. It's still too early to decide that. Hmm. It's true that the evidence points to Kokichi being alive, but... But... Kaito told me... I'll do something about... Okay, whatever. That's a promise, which is a death flag, but it's fine. I'm... I want to believe in the promise that Kaito made. I want you to believe in that with me. Stop it. I refuse to investigate with you. Huh? Huh? What? Why? You don't know? You're not calm at the moment. Right now, you're acting like Kaito, back in Gonta's class trial. <sighs> it was like this that at that time too, wasn't it? 
can't fight despair with just belief. It's not that simple. Maki turned her back to me and left. Maki. Um. There's something about the air in here that's making me feel off. I don't know if it's the electro bomb is to blame or I'm malfunctioning somehow. <sighs> but I'm starting to feel somewhat sick. What? I don't feel weird at all. Then. It's gotta be because of the electro bomb. Kibo's an electronic appliance after all. <laughs> No, don't call me an appliance. Okay. I'm telling you, appliances to go rest outside. <laughs> really, I'm fine, but I suppose I'll go investigate outside for now. Kibo left the hangar, swaying side to side a bit. Hmm. I think I'll start investigating too. <gasps> oh, will you be okay by yourself? I could go with you if you want. No. You don't have to worry. I'll be fine by myself. If the body's like that, then we don't have to worry about anyone messing with it. So, it should be fine for us all to investigate by ourselves. Himiko left in a hurry. Could it be? I wonder if Himiko suspects. Huh? Suspects who? Um. Everyone. Because if there's fewer of us, the fewer people who could be the culprit, right? Of course, it's obviously Kokichi, but like you said, there could be another possibility. Maybe that's what she's thinking. I did suggest that possibility. The culprit might not be Kokichi or Kaito, but a third party. Anyone could be the culprit. Seems like... We were united towards a hope, a hope before all of this, but now we're split up. Could it be... That's why Kokichi killed Kaito? Huh? To disrupt our harmony? Uh -huh. Because if not, what reason would he have to kill Kaito? Maybe that's what this class trial is going to be for. The reason Kokichi's going to hold this class trial might be to separate us. To separate us. Like I thought. In the end, we were all gathered around Kaito. He was the one keeping us together. If that's why he killed Kaito, then we're completely caught in his trap. This is all part of Kokichi's plan to separate us. This is exactly what he wanted. We're split up. I can't get anyone to co cooperate with the investigation. We don't have much information to go on. The Monokuma file has been some help, but it's not enough this time. But... No point standing around complaining. I just have to do it. Time to start. To solve this mystery and find the truth behind it. I'm going to begin the investigation. Oh. Oh. This is a new theme. This is a new theme. This is new music. Oh, the guitar, bro. All right, I'm going to inspect every single piece of evidence here. Okay, normally I end right after we find we find the body. Um, but we're going to do the investor. We'll stop before the class trial today cuz like I I'm not going to be able to play next week. So I want to I want to like be able to cook. I, I want to be able to cook properly with with the investigation and 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 you know and i want to be able to like think about it before i go to the trial I, I need to be able to cook i know i'm so sorry i have to skip another saturday uh i'm traveling next week so i'm, I'm gonna be missing thursday and saturday stream if kokichi dies does that mean we can't vote for him in the voting i'll still vote for him don't worry don't worry i will still vote for kokichi no matter what even if he is the one who's actually dead I will still vote for him. I have voted for him for every trial trying to like make him die. What is this? A blood stain? There's a faint trail of blood leading to the press. A swipe pattern, as if dragged. It looks like it's coming from the bathroom. Hmm. This blood stain suggests that was something was dragged from the bathroom to the press.
the, if there's a sleeve sticking out the, of the press, it's definitely Kaito's coat sleeve. In that case, the victim must be... I don't want to do it, but I have to raise the press to inspect the body. Ooh, ew. These controls move the hydraulic press. It can go up, down, and stop. I should be able to use the up button to raise and press, raise the press and check the body. Hmm. I don't want to see a crushed body no matter who it is. Wait, but doesn't the hydraulic press have a function where it stops if it feels organic matter? So like, how did it crush a human body? That makes no sense. But I have to do it. All right. I have to know. I made up my mind, took a breath, and pressed the button. Hmm. Huh? It's not moving. I pressed the button a few times more, but the button still wouldn't move. Why? Strange. It moved when I pressed it last time. After looking around the press, I found... Ah! Oh. The power cord is cut. I see. There's no power, so the hydraulic press won't move. Hmm. This can't be a coincidence. The power cord was cut on purpose. That must be the work of the culprit. Hmm. That's weird. Hmm. I should take another look at the controls to see if there might be some clues somewhere. Uh, there's an emergency stop button. Well, pandemers, there's no use for it. Okay. Yeah, the safety function. Also, I would like to point out that I called that the next murder was going to happen in this room. And I also said it was going to involve this machine because they were focusing too much on it. My deductive reasoning is A+. Plus, and this is how you know I was a forensic science major in university. Just saying. That's how I can solve murders in my anime games. The infrared sensor detects a living thing. The press stops automatically. Well, it didn't stop when we tried, uh, when Kibo tried before. If the sensor detects a person, the safety should have stopped the press automatically. Hmm. Huh. Safety function. Wow! Uh, Kai Kabi, thank you so much for the Prime Sub Gamer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mina's so dedicated to Dong and Rope, but she got a whole degree to trade. I know. I got a degree like years before I even played the game. The hydraulic press is down and there's blood in the area. If we use the lift, we should be able to check the body, but the power cord's been cut and it won't move. We won't be able to check the body. Okay, that did nothing. Uh, Young Riles, thank you so much for the tier one. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Um. Oh, yeah, let's go to the washing machine. Okay, never mind. The washing machine did nothing. There's an exit stall right in the middle of the hangar. The hatch is open as well, and the cockpit is exposed. Hmm. <laughs> Minayama, the ultimate forensic scientist. Um, I don't want to be an ultimate. I feel like their lives are doomed for despair. I'm okay. So, this is how it looks on the inside, huh? It's small, but big enough for one person. Oh? What's up, Monokuma? Uh. Huh? The hatch is open. How strange! Only the Monocups can turn off the electronic lock and open the hatch. Huh? Only the Monocups can open the hatch? Yeah. Yeah. Normally, the Monocups are the only ones who can pilot the Exosols. Well. Normally being the keyword. But, because the electro hammer thingy, the electronic lock is all screwed up. Uh, um, Have you mentioned this to anyone else? Nope, bubble. no one's asked me about it either. And, even if they had asked, had been asked before, it wouldn't have been irrelevant information to you anyway. Electronic lock on the hatch that only the monocubs can disable. 
which is why, which must be why only the monocups can control the exosols. But if you could disable the lock, hmm. you could control the exosol. Hey, Suichi. It's dangerous there. If you go near that thing, you might get torn apart. No. No, it shouldn't move anymore. Not without the Motocubs or Kokichi. Uh, it's just a pile of scrap then. Hey! Jeez, don't scare me like that. With my magic. Maybe I should just tear this hunk of junk apart with my magic. Ah, uh. uh, but I suppose that if Kokichi was alive, he could move it at any time by remote. Uh. Why didn't you say so sooner? But that remote control Kokichi has for the Exosols, what is it exactly? Does he have that because he's the mastermind? Okay, now we can look at that. Um, is there anything else in here? Uh, okay. Jeez. Okay, uh, useless. Oh, oh, okay. That's nice! It's fine, it's fine! The mascot's appearance at a murder scene brings a sense of relief and peace of mind. <laughs> ah, he popped out! Jeez. Oh, what an attention hog. Hmm. Of course I want attention! I'm the mascot for crying out loud! Hey, and yet, I've appeared fewer times in the plain Jane Sumugi over there! <laughs> Picking up the point I made about Samuki earlier. I'm like, why is she even here, bro? <laughs> It'd be false advertising if I didn't appear as often as I can, you know? Wait, that's it? He had no other... Uh, advertising? What advertising? No. Ignore it. Let's just focus on the investigation. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was useless. Hello? I was trying to click Himiko. What? I, I don't want to talk to you right now, okay? <sighs> the way you are now. You might start accusing people because you don't be you can't believe Kaito's death. No. No, that's not... Cut it out. I don't want to hear your excuses or anything else. Just don't talk to me. If you keep bugging me... Great, huh? I'll give you afro hair with my magic. He's awfully stubborn. Is she that suspicious of everything now? Or is there a reason she doesn't want to talk to everyone? Yeah, I feel like Shuichi's the only calm person. This is the bathroom. Now that I think about it. Okay. This is the place where Kaito was imprisoned. Kaito might have left some kind of clue here. No. Uh, no, he didn't leave anything. He might not be dead. Anyway, I should investigate inside. And I clicked the window and there was a Chiaki jump scare, bro. I, that still, like, that still hurt me. Look the window first. Yes, that's where we talked. How many times did you get a flashback to the same scene that we experienced like an hour ago? It's a small window, and it doesn't open all the way. No one would be able to fit through here. Well... Oh, I suppose if someone could fit through, Kaito would have escaped by now. Perhaps it's too small for a person, but an object could fit through. Okay, so there's... There are arrows on the floor of the bathroom. Three in total, and blood on all of them. Uh, um... What is this? What happened here? I have a theory. I have a theory. Because how else did the crossbow get here? Maki brought the crossbow over to Kaito. And listen, you guys, gamers. Kaito and Maki are in cahoots. And Kaito killed Kokichi. And Maki is protecting that fact right now to keep Kaito alive. And it's gonna be a Peko and Fuyuhiko situation again. 
But this time, Kaito's the one who's dying because he's protecting Maki, even though Maki's trying to protect Kaito right now. That's my game theory. But she brought him the crossbow. Because, like, who else is going to bring him a crossbow? A crossbow. This is... One of the crossbows from Maki's lab. Why is this here? If Kaito gets away with it, then everyone dies. Well, I think the logic behind it was that... If they killed Kokichi, the killing game would stop. But it's still going on. So now there's a bigger issue on uh, like at hand. Because they thought Kokichi was the uh, was the mastermind. But obviously, if Kokichi's the one who's dead and the killing game is still going on, then that's not true and there's a bigger bad. Ahem, <clears throat> Juko and Hiroshima. And, and that was not taken into account as like part of the plan. And I also think he tipped the arrow... He dipped the arrows in poison. But why would it seem like Kaito died? Well, I think that might have just been an oversight. Like, they, uh... Killed Kokichi. Um... Killing game is still going on, and she's playing along that it's Kaito that died. Instead of Kokichi. Listen, I don't know. I'm cooking. Alright? The, the, the meal is not prepared yet. I'm still cooking. There's a small bottle in the corner of the bathroom. It's empty. If I remember correctly. The label has blood all over it. I can't read it completely. But I can see the word. Poison. Could it be? And if it is poison... This bottle must be hmm. taken from my lab. I don't know who brought this here, but it definitely has something to do with this case. He dipped the arrows into the poison and 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 then shot Kokichi in the nutsack. A blood stain? A puddle of blood in the center of the room and a swipe pattern. Uh, from there to the door. Hmm. Is there anything else in here? Lots of toilet paper. Holy shit, bro. You know this didn't take place during COVID. What? What else is there to inf- Oh, the black case. Okay, I didn't see that. backing away from the conversation he headed to the far shelf okay yes, i remember this this is the case from before right hmm. why is a crossbow from maki's lab here and three bloody arrows those arrows were definitely for the crossbow but why are all three bloodied and the bottle of poison. What could that be used? Could have been used for? Hmm. There's still so much I don't know. This case looks like it's going to be tricky. Ah, oh, this theme. Oh. Did they move it? But it wait, why does it look like it moved? Was it always that close to Samugi? I thought I investigated everything. Wait, we, 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 we click that. We click this. We talked to Samugi. We did that. We talked to Himiko. We looked at the blood tra trail. What else is there to look at? What else? Talk to Samugi again. I don't know. Oh my. Oh, useless. We looked at. Oh, traces of blood. Nope, we already looked at that. That's true. Uh, we looked at the hydraulic press already. And the bit of clothing. The, p 
paint. Oh, the... I think I forgot it both times. Nope. Um. We went to the bathroom. They let us leave. Is it Himiko again? Shut up! Okay, never mind. So sorry, I breathed your air. I looked at the washing machine. It didn't do anything, though. I guess I'll just click everything again. I, I definitely clicked the... Oh, maybe it's the wire on the ground. The cut wire. Nope, I can't. Never mind. I'm pretty sure I already clicked the red exosol, though. Yep. Um. The control panel? I definitely clicked the control panel, though. Okay, we did all this. Hmm. I definitely clicked this as well already. And it said it had nothing to do with the case. Bruh. What did I know? Why is it not letting me leave? Okay, you want to you want you want to tell me what is left to investigate because I'm 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 stumped. The washing machine. We went to the toilet. Looked at the green one. We looked at Tsumugi. We looked at this. What else is there? What else is there? Not the pre- Bro, literally, what else is there to press? I've pressed everything! <laughs> what is there to investigate? Um... I literally don't know what else to Yeah, I got the sleeve. He's like, I don't want to believe no. this. I don't want to believe. Hmm. I... I... I clicked his sleeve last night. Hmm. I... I literally... I literally clicked his sleeve. No, I clicked it before. It's because the arrows. I think I. It, it, God, I hate this game. What do you mean? I literally clicked it before. I'm being gaslit. Hmm. Hmm. I need more clues. I should investigate other areas. <laughs> I think it, I think yeah I think it was just updated because of the arrows, which is dumb, but it's whatever. The launch system is off. It must still be affected by the electro right. bomb. Yeah, this is sussy AF, bro. That's true. It's like it was like like mauled. Hmm. Forensic investigation impeded by game's interface issues. No, but literally. Excuse me. It is not a. It's not a game or. It's not a game or or keyboard issue. Uh, okay. Hey, Kibo. Before we went into the hangar this morning, you said. So I went to the hangar last night and tried to talk to him. 
You tried to talk to him on your own? I'm sorry, I thought it would be preferable for him to release Kaito peacefully. Uh, you said um. you witnessed a few things. What did you see? Hmm. Oh, yeah, since we were in a hurry, I only told you about the Exosol returning to the hangar. Okay. Yes. I never imagined something like that would happen, so I didn't mention it before. But before I saw the Exosol, I saw someone headed heading towards the hangar. Huh? You saw someone? Um... I saw Himiko. I was in my lab, trying to think of what I should write to convince Kokichi. That's when I saw her walking toward the hangar, clutching something in her hands. I think it was a black bag. Huh. A black bag? I... I have a- I have a thought. I have a thought. Gamers, I have a thought. What if... What if... That was not, in fact, Himiko. What if someone snuck into the ultimate cosplayers lab and dressed up like Himiko and then went over to the hangar. Hmm? Hmm? And what if that person was Maki? They said she came back later, I didn't think much of it. But but after seeing her reaction this morning, I started to get a little suspicious. Hmm. Why? She's acting like she had something to hide. It's not that I want to suspect her. You're right. Hey! You said you saw her come back as well. Was she holding a bag at that time? Well... Now that I think about it, she didn't. She had it coming, but not leaving. That has to be the black bag Himiko was carrying was... Um... Uh, by the way, this is a little off topic, Shuichi, but... Huh? As I thought... The reason I wasn't feeling well may have been due to the Electro Bomb. But... It's because of the electromagnetic particles, not because I'm a robot. So, what I experienced was akin to an allergic reaction such as hay fever. Which means... So, it could have affected a human the same way. Being a robot has nothing to do with it. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay, buddy. So that thing Kimiko said was bothering him. He really is a bit too sensitive. Hmm. Security alarm. Okay, whatever. So if he was feeling it inside, and it's for up to two hours, that means someone used one of the bombs within the two hours... Like, before they got there. So, like... Someone probably died two hours prior, at a minimum. Um, is there anything else here? I guess we the the window. I knew it. Means only way. Okay, but nothing. But okay. All right. Okay, so we have to go to Maki's lab and my lab. Okay, or Shuichi's lab. I feel like as much as I was trying to deny it, I do like Shuichi as a character. He's not as good as Kaide because no one's as good as Kaide. But if someone had to replace. Kai day. I, I'm, I don't mind that it was Shuichi. Or Puichi, as Miyu would call him. He's like the only male character in this entire game that I don't hate. Like, for like V3. Shuichi or Hajime? Who do I like more? I love Hajime, though. I think Hajime was such a sweetie. Like, especially towards the end. Oh, shit. I forgot about Gonta. I like Gonta. Um... I don't know. I think I might like Shuichi better. I think Shuichi has is like I don't know more personality than Hajime because Hajime like just didn't have memories for like most of the game. 
He's like, I don't know what kind of ultimate I am. Oh, oh no, I'm actually a reserve core student. Oh no, I'm actually Izuru. Oh no, Chiaki. Like when, whenever he's like involved with Chiaki, I really like him. But like when it's Hajime on his own, I don't really care. <laughs> I feel like this is the one that was chasing us at the beginning of the game. You suddenly want to watch the spare arc again? I know, right? Oh, why is there a hammer here? Maki didn't have her hammer. I want to point that out. Maki did not have her hammer when we were going into this place. If I remember... So it is possible that Maki used her hammer to enter one of the exosols, discarded her hammer, got into the into the place, killed Kokichi with Kaito, and then left. There's no 17th student. Guys, okay, listen, listen, listen. What if it's Kaide? Hmm. Guys, guys, hear me out. Hear me out. What if? What if it's just our girly pop Kaide? Like, what? What if, what if she's okay? Like, what if she's fine? Like, she's safe and 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 she was just feeling a little quirky and she's and she's good now. Kaide's evil twin, Kai Devil. <laughs> Maki passed the hammer through the window, allowing him to get out of the bathroom and kill Kokichi. But then, why is the hammer here? Pay attention, listen up, take heed, I say. Oh, Monokuma? And another thing. It's just, I noticed that you came this way last night, Shuichi. Huh? You were acting all sneaky, weren't you? <laughs> like a teenage boy trying to trying to creep into the adult movie section of the video store. But you didn't need to sneak around because the exosols wouldn't have attacked you. Hey! What are you saying? We didn't have to sneak. Cause! Because everyone's coming to rent adult movies, so in a way, everyone's going there is the same. Wait! No, not that. I meant about the exosols not attacking us. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, at that time, the exosols were on autopilot and directed to only observe me. Hey, um... Their movements are more limited now that the monocubs aren't around to pilot them. Huh? Autopilot? You mean the remote control Kokichi has? Well... Yeah, that's pretty much it. So the exosols were being controlled by Kokichi's remote control. But they were focusing on Monokuma? Hey! Why are you telling me all of this? This puts the person controlling you at a disadvantage. Hey, um... Mm, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about this. Yeah. And if it puts someone at a disadvantage... The class trial must always be fair. Hmm. The person who shared that info with me didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys. Hey! So you share it instead. That way, it'll all be fair. It'll be fair to all the participants. Why wouldn't they share this information? Okay. Yeah. yeah. By the way, renting movies is so old school. It's more thrilli thrilling to illegally download them. Psycho. It's like trying not to get caught by a big game hunter while holding your breath during sex. You guys, you know you can download more RAM. Is there anything else here that I should care about? Okay, we have to go to my lab and Maki's lab. We'll go to... We'll go to... I guess Maki's lab first, because that's the first one we hit. 
I feel like I always go the wrong way. I think Maki's gonna be in here. Discarding evidence, maybe? Oh. Or not. I feel as though there are less weapons here than I remember. Oh yeah, they're all in the, the, the gym. So there is a black case missing. No. It looks like they don't even fit in the case and unless they're disassembled. When I was here with Kaito before, there was three of them. I'm sure Kaito didn't have a crossbow with him. That's true. We have a detective lab. Can we use a blood sample? But we don't have um Kaito or Kokichi's blood to test like the blood against. Like you could identify maybe what blood type uh the blood is, but you wouldn't be able to like actually confirm whose it is without having like a reference, like a frame of reference. Which means someone must have brought it from the hangar from here. But it's really difficult to put together the crossbow. I don't believe you'd be able to do it unless Maki taught no. you. I'll think more about that later. For now, I need to investigate. Well, what else is there to investigate in here? Uh, is... Oh, was that it? That's it? Okay. That was easy. All right, we'll go to my lab now. Wow, I think I've really come to I, I've really come into my own as Shuichi. I'm calling it my lab now. Instead of just like Shuichi's lab. I still want to know what's in this room. I finally accept you, Shuichi. Oh my god, there's a chicken in the clock. Hold on. There's a chicken in that clock, bro. Strike nine poison. Although it requires time to circulate, even a small amount in the body will result in a certain death. Hmm. Can't imagine that there's a smaller amount in this bottle for no reason. This must be a clue. Oh, there's still something? Small glass bottles, maybe? Night hate antidote, ha harmlock antidote, arsenic. Hmm. According to the labels, each bottle only has one dose. And each only works on a specific poison. Well, well I suppose that makes sense. There are plenty of different kinds of poisons, so that must be true for antidotes. Hmm. Strike nine poison and antidotes. This is uh, disconcerting. What could that mean? All right. Monokuma still is moving around, which means the victim must no. be. No, it's too soon to be thinking like that. If I investigate a little more, I'll find something. There's still time. I should head back to the hangar. What? Why do I have to go back there, bro? Is that nightshade, hemlock, and arsenic at home? That's that is exactly what that is. Bro, can I can I not fast travel? Can I um can can I can I can I can I, can I, can I fast travel, please? Can I, I can't fast travel anywhere. You want me to go down? No, no. They're gonna make me, they're gonna make me go through that. They're gonna make me go through that hallway again? I should've... I should've... Oh no... I should've... Bro, I should've... I should've done Maki's room second! I should've done Maki's room second! No! They're gonna make me... Oh, they're gonna make me go down the staircase again! No! I thought I was done! I thought I was done! Mmm... No 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 no
what I hate this floor so much where the stairs. Why did they make me do that? Why did they make me do that? For why? There was no reason for them to make me go through that again. I, I, I really feel like I really feel like I didn't have to do that. Like like genuinely. I I, I, just, I I feel like it was unnecessary for them to disable fast travel. Like, just let me go to like the bottom floor at least. Like, why do I have to like run through the entirety of the hallways? Remember where all the staircases are, because you know damn damn right I don't know where any of them are. Yeah, they just wanted me to suffer at least like one more emotional damage from the fourth floor. Oh, we'll do over here. Okay. God, I love this uh, the investigation music. Hmm. We haven't seen anybody around. Imagine if uh, it was so they could have an event where Shuichi got ambushed while searching. That'd be really fun. If you're not experiencing despair, is it really Dongan Rompa? Oh. Is everyone here? Oh my god, is the gang back together? Oh, why is Maki looking like that? Hey guys! Shuichi! Can you come with me? What happened? Um, I found something strange in the bathroom. Please hurry. He shouted hmm. quickly and ran to the bathroom. Hey, Maki. Maki. Why is it so easy for you to believe Kaito is dead? Hmm. I feel like Maki's being a little too quiet this investigation. What's up, Keebs? Oh? Hey! Yes. Take a look at this. Where did this come from? Huh? Are... These are... Kokichi's clothes. It's soaked and wrinkled, but there's no doubt these are Kokichi's. But... Where did you find this? I didn't see it when I inve was investigating the bathroom. And why are they so... Well... Well, the toilet seemed clogged, so I reached my hand down the drain and pulled out these clothes. It looked like these couldn't be flushed all the way. Couldn't be flushed all the way. Why were these clothes in the toilet in the first yeah. place? It was very brave of me, and thanks to that, I managed to find an important clue. Now, Shuichi, please investigate as much as you want. Uh, okay. Clog the toilet, huh? But this isn't the time to hesitate. Okichi's clothes found in the bathroom. If they were found in the toilet, someone must have tried to flush them. But who would do that? What's the matter? Uh, okay. The ultimate detective can't stop here. It has to be an important All clue. Right. I made up my mind, grabbed Kukichi's soaked clothes, and spread them <sighs> open. There's a small hole in the back. Another small hole in the sleeve. <sighs> this is about the same size as the one on Kaito's sleeve. There are traces of blood around the hole, too. What does this mean? Uh, the pelt from the crossbow that was probably soaked in poison, and then one of them hit Kaito, and then they were trying to find a freaking antidote? No. There's a chance Okichi was the one crushed in the hydraulic press. Thank you. Well, no. Your hands aren't clean either, though. <laughs> Where did Kaito go? Why not show himself? And why is this game still going, even if, though the mastermind is dead? Um... If this is awkward, Shuichi, I can leave and give you some privacy. Huh? You're concerned about that? Evo and I washed our hands in the sink and left the bathroom. Is there anything else to investigate? 
Takamaki again. Nope. Okay. Probably the... Uh, this again. Hmm. I don't know what else I need... What else do I need to investigate? Not this again, please. What? You and Kibo both look more refreshed now. Gross. Refreshing each other in the boys' bathroom? Even now you can't help yourselves, huh? That's true. This is all Himiko's imagination. But I don't even want to touch that right now. Hey! It's almost time for the class trial to start, right? Was no one able to find Kokichi? Uh, um... I wonder. I haven't heard from anyone. I see. I wonder where he went off to. Did he disappear? He can't still be in the hangar. Where is that little shit? Or under there. Could it be? Shuichi, do you think the one who died was Kokichi? Huh? Seems like... I mean, your face says you want to think that. It's plain to see. But I think that's just plain impossible. Kokichi's been manipulating us from the start. I can't believe someone like that could be killed by Kaito. Uh -huh. Yeah, because Kaito's dumb AF. Uh, of course, I don't mean to compliment Kokichi or make fun of Kaito or anything. Okay. I know, you're probably right. Tamuki has a good point. I still don't have enough clues to conclude that Kokichi died. But I'm certain that one of them must have. No. Please proceed to the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard and head to the trial grounds. Everyone needs to be there. Got it? Anyone who's absent will be swiftly and permanently punished. Oh. <laughs> I wonder what kind of despair awaits you this time. Huh. Hmm. Everyone needs to be there. That means Kokichi or Kaito. Whoever's alive will be there. Then? At the trial, we'll know who the victim is. Oh my god, you guys. I'm not to make you wait two weeks to figure out who did it. We're gonna have to wait two weeks to figure out who done did it. Or you could do it now. Or I could go to sleep. You waited two weeks. Two I, I gave you a long stream, okay? Whoa. Hit that save button. Well, I know who did it. Okay, well, I haven't played the game. Um. Oh, gosh. I guess we're gonna end it there, gamers. We finished the investigation, so next week we're just gonna jump right into the trial. Not next week, the week after next week. Next week I will not be at uh, home. I will I will be somewhere else. Um, 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 um. Tuesday, we are playing some Star Rails. Uh, the last day before Kafka comes out, Mother Kafka comes out on Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday, during the day, I'll finish Chapter 23 of Hongai Impact. And then we'll do the polls for Kafka in the evening when she comes out. And then I will be taking off Thursday and Saturday. So no streams on those days. Yeah. Oh my god, you guys. I want to know what's going to happen. I I want to know. I, I, I want to know. I am craving. I am craving the knowledge of what happens. I think I cooked up some good theories, though. I, I feel like I feel like I, I was cooking. I, I was cooking pretty, pretty good. 
but it's fine. Fana, thank you for gifting Ace a sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's find someone to raid. Uh, we will raid this person. All right, gamers. Um, you know the rules. Be kind, be polite, be respectful. You are a direct reflection of me uh, in someone else's uh, chat. So please be, please be kind and, and polite. Uh, join the Discord if you're not already in it. In it. Uh, you're already looking forward to the pre-trial uh, chapter six in three weeks. Oh my god, same. Um, it's crazy. We're actually almost done with the game. Maybe like three more streams worth of the game. And that's about it. So we'll probably finish it by the end of the month or early next month. Which is kind of insane that we're we're, we're going to be finishing the Danganronpa series like as a whole. I'm like kind of... Yeah, I'm going to miss Danganronpa weekends. It's okay. We'll find a new game to, to replace. But it's fine. It's fine. Um... But yeah, uh, next stream is going to be Tuesday. Tuesday. And then... Oh, we're going to do some unboxing stuff on Tuesday. Since I'm getting some uh, some Star Rail mystery boxes that I ordered. And so, no idea what's inside. I might get scammed again like that keyboard I got. But yeah, that should be really fun. That'll be on Tuesday. Uh, Kafka Pool is on Wednesday. And then, no other streams. Are you going to try Baldur's Gate? It's like D&D. Is that, is that the one where you fuck a bear? You want me to be a furry, bro? I don't want to be a furry. We'll see, though. I, I might play the AI uh, files next. Or Ace Attorney. But you could say no. <laughs> Bye, guys. Join the Discord. Spam the raid message. I'll see you guys later.